and welcome to MineCon Earth. I'm so excited to be here. My name's Julia, I'm going to be your host, and I'm joined by Log Dodsip, aka Tyler, How's it who's going? going to be my co-host for this whole monumentous pre-show. And it is monumentous, but not as big as the actual main show that's going to be coming up. Oh, you very, guys very have soon. no idea. It is phenomenal. It's going to be amazing. It's been an incredible year for Minecraft itself, and so much has happened. We've managed to cram as much as we could into this very, very short video to get you up to speed. Rockets that can be used. Booster rockets. What is booster rockets, you say? It the rocket propelled elytra wings. Like Ability to use fireworks in conjunction with elytra flight mode. To rocket propelled elytra flight, yes. <laughs> Hey mateys, it's time to put a parrot on your shoulder. The parrot! Look at that, that is- 350 bricks a piece. Of my parrots teleported on my shoulder! I've got parrots in front of me. How to tame parrots. It's very hard to do a first impressions video when the mob that you're trying to do the first impressions on, uh, you can't find. <gasps> I see one. There's a blue parrot! I'm coming, parrot! There you go. <laughs> I've got double parrots! I've got, oh no, they came off. Hey, guys, come here. I don't know. How do, how do I get them on my shoulders? <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh! I have buddies! I'm the parrot lady! Go in the parrot bath! Oh my gosh. <laughs> And we have some llamas in front. Llamas! The llama. That's right. Llamas are brand new things. See, there are some llamas. And that is the llama. So these are. <laughs> I like how they they hesitate for a second. They hesitate, and then they're like, Puh. "My bad. You want to get spit on?" I just. He's, he nods at me. He's like, yeah, that's why I'm in here. Okay, watch. He's getting here we go. Here it happens. Yeah, you got spat on. That's what you were going for. I know. Oh my god, they're having a spit cannon battle. It's like a spitball battle. We're in high school now. This is Llama High School. It's gonna be the new Minecraft roleplay. Welcome to Llama High School, ladies and gentlemen. The Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. The season two of Minecraft Story Mode. Season two of Minecraft Story Mode. No way. Oh no. Just no way! Are you serious? You Not Beacon Town. Just run away from the admin. Are you serious? <laughs> You've really got my attention now. Add on feature is. Add on. It's a very awesome add on. See, mutes and mob add on. This add on in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Slenderman add on. It. Done with an add on? The add on survival challenge. I mean, seriously, look at these crazy. Gona has replaced 11 of the mobs you normally find in your Minecraft world with these amazing creatures. Are you kidding me? Look at this thing. It's huge. Look at me, man. Much better. Trying to get him to. Hey. And they will begin to fire off fireballs. Oh, and look, he's helping. Because this one's mine he's tamed and look he's killed oh wow <laughs> that was quick has been dubbed the world of color update 1.12 world of color updates the world of color update minecraft's 1.12 update the giant world of color that is 1.12 has a new color palette that saturates your game
lot of stuff that has been happening my goodness so uh yeah the the pre-show is going to be crammed full of guests who are some are actually joining me now we've got chad hey. oh my god okay <laughs> and we got matt as well um so we're going to be talking through just a little bit about what we saw in that video there was so much stuff in there were there any kind of particular standout moments for you guys I think one of the most was like, oh my gosh, that did happen over the last year. Like, there's so much. Right? It's kind of hard to remember everything. <laughs> it's like, we're like llamas? Llamas seem like ages. It was this year? <laughs> that was one year wow. Ago. That was yeah. very, it seems like Minecon was far ages ago, and now with the fact that we have llamas for more than a year now, yeah. it's just unbelievable. I mean, I think, I think everyone kind of just thought, that we've got to like peak Minecraft. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like yeah. it can't really get any bigger than this. And yeah. then all of a sudden, it just completely it keeps crashing yeah. and mm. it keeps growing and keeps getting bigger. So, um, apart from llamas, right? What were your? I mean, obviously that was everyone's favorite. But what were your kind of standouts? I would say, okay, two standouts would be first off colors, which I, I was mm. reminded by with the video. Like we mm. got really vibrant colors uh, in Minecraft, it, which really has. It's made the game look so good, and yeah. I really, really like it. And the other thing I would say would be the marketplace in uh, the Bedrock Edition. Yeah. That's a really cool way to easily find content. So I think those two things are, are standouts. It was awesome, me. too, because like not only was the Bedrock, um, or actually the Pocket Edition had the marketplace, but also Xbox, too. Yeah. We've never seen like these types of mods before on Xbox, and the fact that the marketplace enabled us to actually get mods which is fantastic, so I'm a big fan of the Marketplace. The add-ons, too, have been amazing. Just seeing like all the different ways that you can modify the game now, and it's so smooth, and the animations are crisp and clean. And it's easy, because yeah. it's just like, oh, it's add a behavior play. pack, whatever. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> I think what I like most about the video was just seeing how big the creative community has been. All those usernames popping up, recognizing all those people, and all so part of this. fresh talent yeah. coming through all the time. It's not kind of, obviously you have like the, the kind of super top tier, you know, yeah. like Minecraft. I mean, you saw my video, girl. <laughs> Yeah. I, saw, I saw your video, yes. It was very good. Thanks, I died in it. <laughs> I saw that also as well. You're like, yeah, this is going really well. Whoops. <laughs> um, I mean, is there anything that you think that, uh, you know, Mojang could add to the game? Or, it, it, or like, when do these things, you know, when these things come out, are you kind of quite surprised sort of like how they innovate, you know? Sometimes. Very like, surprised. Yeah, uh, sometimes though. they take directions that you're like, what? Oh, yeah, okay, like I didn't realize I needed that. Especially with the Better Together update, how yeah. we can play cross-platform now. Yeah. It's so much fun to be able to play with your Windows 10 computer and then say, hey, buddy, like, get on your Xbox, let's play together, and it, it's just a, yeah. something we've never expected. I did not And you see mostly play on, on those versions yeah. on Bedrock. Yeah, yeah it's just yeah. fantastic. I mean, especially if you've been building as well, it's like, oh, I'm not going like, to restart. Oh, right. Right. yeah, yeah just move all the world over. Do that. It was always such a bummer to be like, okay, I have, you know, my cousin plays on his phone, mm. and I play on my Xbox, and I play on Windows 10, and it's like, oh, you want to play together? It's like, sorry, we can't. But now that's fixed, so it's great. Well, it's, it's, sorry, go on. it's even better because I've got the keyboard and mouse and the other people I got to deal with the touch screens. <laughs> so when it's time for PvP, oh, oh you know who's got it. Come on. Step ahead of the game. Yeah. Anytime the game. you need to just chill out and just, you know, 
It's just been a rough day. Let me yeah. just go into a PvP server when I'm on mouse and keyboard. <laughs> Not today. I don't think so. No. Um, well, you guys are actually involved in the main show because obviously that's the main reason why everyone's here. Obviously, this is the pre-show, but I think you guys have actually got to go off because that's starting in about 15 minutes' time. Get so I think I think you guys should head out. Um, we're going to talk to you a little bit about um, obviously what's going to be coming up in the main show as well. Because I mean, you're involved in it, so. What can you actually tell us, Tyler, about what's happening in the main show? Listen, Julia, I'm on to you. I'm not going to say a thing. You guys don't get to know either, okay? You got to wait and find out. Well, that's just ultimately quite frustrating, but thanks. I um, tell you. Well, no, th there is so, so much that's going to be there. Um, obviously, we've got Jens is going to be coming in, and he normally kind of gets some good reveals. He gets the, the fun job of being like, oh, my God, llamas. Always which, the meat of it. Yeah, the meat. Uh, Jens will be out there. Of course, and the other huge thing is the interactivity that's involved in the uh, show, where um, you guys are going to be able to vote on what new mob is going to be in the game. And we're going to touch upon this and go a little bit more in depth a little bit later, but that is something that's... Uh, quite exciting and I was also told correct me if I'm wrong there's a musical thing yes. uh, they didn't tell me anything other than that well is it you I? is it you in <laughs> some tap dancing shoes and a smile you weren't supposed to say anything okay, come sorry. on sorry about that sorry about that <laughs> call it all <laughs> off it's done why do we uh, why do we come and bring in uh, Aurelian who's now been waiting in the wings Hi. come and join us how are you doing I'm good how are you I'm good you I heard you beep in the musical number don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm excited. I've heard I've heard whisperings, but I haven't, you know, seen it for sure. So well, I'm excited. Are you excited to be here, though? I'm really excited to be here. I got to see a couple of things, not that uh, earlier, and I'm really excited to for everyone else to see it. I was watching it with my eight-year-old, and every time that sh they saw something, she was like, "I can't wait for that! I can't wait for that!" So she's she's like already jazzed with having the same way. Yet. I know. Every, every time they're like, "Oh my gosh, this is the best!" Thing ever, yeah. So I'm um, really excited. I'm like, I love doing Minecon, but I'm always really frustrated that I just can't share everything on social media yeah. at the time. And like, I completely understand it because it's, you know, it should be a surprise and it should be everything. But it's yeah. so frustrating because I'm like, all well, these cool things keep happening. But I'm not allowed between. to say anything. Yes. Yeah. The there's, time. there's. I'm like offline the whole time. Yeah. There's a, a section in uh, one of the videos that people will watch uh, during the actual show, and it's been on lockdown for weeks. And they're like, whatever you do, you can't mention this one thing. And I'm like, oh, I just wanted to, I'm so excited about it. I just want to talk about the thing. Yeah. So we'll talk about it in the post show. Yes. Yeah. Because you're, you're actually coming back to help me yeah. uh, co host the uh, post yeah. show. You're excited for that too? Yeah. Yeah. Because then we then can we actually can, talk about we everything. We can reveal all the secrets. <laughs> yeah. And I think you'll be joining us too for that, right? I yeah. Think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I think it's just, it's going to be everyone back here. Yeah. Like back here. like coming. One big like, party. One big massive party. There's like 50 off. people back here. You guys aren't even seeing yeah, you can't right even now. See. It's something else. Um, yeah. So um, that's obviously like the great thing about the show is, I mean, obviously when you're at home making content and you have like your know, camera set up and uh, like this, even just my little, you know, uh, studio here, it's it's like a wall of light. There's like 50 guys. Yeah. It's, it's quite a palaver. Right. It's it's much more <laughs> nerve wracking because you're we're not used to having to have people like tell us what to do or like worry about saying something and then someone immediately reacting because we're just at home in front of our computer screens and it's now like, there's all these people here right it's like yeah. if someone then asked you to walk in front of a camera you're like oh. What do what, I do? How do, my I, hands? how do I do it now? Is it <laughs> left or right? What am I doing? Yeah. And do I wave with? Yeah. You got all the different. You're never aware of like how <laughs> your face looks until you're told to like smile for five minutes. And then you're like, is this right? Does this look okay? How's the smile look? Yeah. Are you fake yet? What? <laughs> uh, well, we're all super, super excited uh, for the show that's going to be coming up. Uh, Obviously, we'll be talking more about it in the post show when we can actually talk about everything. But if you guys have watched it and you want to watch it on catch up again, you can go to minecraft.net uh, or go to the YouTube channel. It'll be available after it's up there. But, Irene, I think you're off now because you're going to be going yeah. off and getting involved. Get ready. Yeah. And then um, we'll, uh, we'll see you in the post show. Okay. Okay. Best of luck, guys. See you a bit later. Um, so, one of the other great things about Minecraft itself is, of course, the partners that are involved in it. And, uh, we are uh, very, very happy to have uh, some exclusive videos for you. Ooh. First of all, we've got one from Mattel. Let's take a look. Welcome to your new favorite reality game show. It's time for our next challenge. Your mission, explore the abandoned mine shaft. Oh, oh, oh. Spider punch! Spider punch! Punch whenever a spider jump! It's 
challenge time! Isn't this the best show ever? Oh, wow, yes. Oh, hello. So we've got another guest coming in here. We're going to be coming to you in just a few moments, no uh, Scott. So we've just got one more video to show you a bit of an exclusive as well. This one is from Lego. We all have noob experiences we'd rather forget, right? So we asked three stars, Captain Sparkles, Ant Venom, Lydia, and superfan LJ Johnson to relive their most embarrassing moments, to be animated using Lego Minecraft. Here's what came out of it. So I wound up mining through the world and I broke into an absolutely enormous cave system. And we'd spent all this time putting together a, a base, which at the time we thought was super awesome. My adorable new pet wolf. Bear in mind, this was before I really knew too much about the game. We had this table in the middle and some chairs that were basically just stairs that were oriented in one specific direction. And I just kept digging and digging. And of course, with my luck, I dug into a mountain. And it was right next to the wood. Instead of feeding it to the wolf, I accidentally hit it. You could practically <laughs> believe they're made out of soap and the entire front of the house is just on fire burning down. Of course, all of my items pretty much wound up disappearing. When we just ate, we, we threw in some carrots just for fun, and it was just a good time. And I lived happily ever after, or until it fell in lava. Poor wolf, oh my, I feel what? so bad for that wolf. That's ultimately quite there's nothing worse than accidentally hitting an animal you did not mean to hit for food it's i find that quite a traumatic experience in minecraft if I'm perfectly honest. i like doing it do you sometimes oh, those poor chickens so yeah. many chickens <laughs> so many chickens <laughs> um, that looked really really great um, i don't know how everything ended up on fire but okay <laughs> all right everything ended up on fire so we are joined by uh, scott from telltale uh, obviously makes uh, you know the the other the game that's involved the other game yes. that's involved uh, with the story mode um so you're here to talk a little bit about how you kind of work with the kind of community and the creators. Because yeah, obviously, exactly. when, you know, we heard about Telltale, you know, story mode, you're kind of like, well, it's Minecraft's all about, you know, you make the story. So everyone's a bit like, how's that going to work? But obviously, it's been so well received. Everyone's loved it. Were you kind of surprised at sort of like how everyone kind of got embraced it? Uh, I mean, in a weird way, it's actually kind of a, a natural fit. I mean, yeah. so as you mentioned, we're a very, like, we make narrative-driven games, which is not something people associate with Minecraft, but at that just meant that we had kind of a niche that we could fill, right? Mm -hmm. That it just left us open to tell kind of whatever story we wanted in a way, and that gave us a lot of freedom to make this really cool adventure that actually marries really perfectly with the world of Minecraft. So actually, like you'd mentioned, we do work with community and with Mojang quite a bit. Mm -hmm. We actually saw Big B's stats earlier in one of the uh, one of the videos that was playing. Yeah. He's actually in one of our episodes. He provides a voice for a character. Character in, in the third episode of season two. Um, and we also worked with like Stampy Cat and Stacy Plays. Yeah. Not only are there voices in the games, they actually designed some houses that appear in the main town where you start uh, season two. So it's so been a lot of fun to work with them. So you're bringing to do your work for you. Is that what you're saying? You're uh, like, okay, you can like make a house. Man. That's that's some work we don't us. have to go. <laughs> And to make something really up. cool together. <laughs> um, and then we obviously worked with Mojang as well to try to, I, I feel like our game actually fits really well within the world of Minecraft. Yeah. You get to experience this whole story and adventure with your friends and actually craft your own narrative in a way because the way our games work, mm. you get to make decisions as you play and it yeah. changes the way the story branches and does all this really cool stuff. But working with Mojang has allowed us to do some really cool things like create mobs that you wouldn't find in Minecraft proper because uh -huh. we have a story reason for them to exist. Like my favorite is the super ghast who's like exactly Exactly what it sounds like. The yeah. world's scariest, biggest, most bizarre gas that you have to fight. He's one of the bosses in our game. Mm -hmm. Super cool. It's a lot of fun to work with both creators and Mojang to make stuff like that. So now that you've had obviously some YouTube celebrity creators uh, in your game, do you now find that, like Tyler, are you basically sitting here like, How's hey it going, Scott, buddy? how's it going? <laughs> We're Can close. I be in your game? <laughs> we love all of Minecraft creators. We do our best to work with as many of them as we but, can. So hey, you know what? We'll, we'll be in touch. We'll be in touch. I'll give you my card. There you go. It'll be great. Perfect. Julia likes to help facilitate these, <laughs> these little encounters. Uh, but that's great. That sounds absolutely fantastic. Are you excited for the main show? Oh, absolutely, yeah. And actually, 
We are very excited about all the new stuff that's come in this past year. I mean, again, watching this stuff from before and seeing all the new things that came this year. There's a llama featured very prominently in season two of our game. Well, my, we're very excited llama. about Everyone's llamas. favorite mob is the Luna <laughs> the llama is like our favorite new character. We're yep. very excited to have that and all the other new features that have come this year. So whatever you guys are talking about today, I'm, I'm sure that we'll find a way to include it in upcoming episodes. And I, actually, Ooh. I should say, though, that yeah. the season finale for season two is December. Yes. So we're nearly wrapped up with the season. If you okay. want to catch up, now's a really good time. Okay. Uh, if you want to learn more about our stuff, quick plug, uh, my, uh, craft, <laughs> craftmystory.com just okay. went live for people who want to learn a little more about what we do and how our games work. craftmystory.com. Thank you so much, Scott. And actually, <laughs> speaking of uh, mobs, one of the most exciting things, obviously, about MyCon is the fact that you guys are going to be able to choose a new mob for the game. And we are going to bring in a very special guest right now, uh, Sebastian, who's going to be talking about uh, all the different mobs that are there. And I think we have a little bit of speculation as to, well, we're going to go through them. <laughs> And also, see. just um, yeah, just see uh, which ones we particularly like. Um, Sprinkle so in some opinions here. Just a few little opinions here and there. Um, so, out of the four, what's kind of your what's your fave, Tyler? Mm, my favorite is probably the 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 manta ray that flies through the skies. Oh yeah. 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 That would be the scariest thing. Just coming down, swooping in, eating you. Yeah. No That's, thanks. There's, um, so hey, look at this. Hey, Seamus, how, hey, are, you? how hey. are you going? Ah, fine, thank you, I'm perfect. I'm very excited for Minecon, yeah. Yeah, so, okay, we're talking about the mobs. Obviously, okay. this is the, you know, for you guys, um, if there is a particular favorite, I can't stress this enough, the other ones will never appear in the game. So if you do have a favorite, you have to make sure you're gonna be voting. Sebastian, what's your fave? Okay, you my favorite is uh, the, the squid. Yeah, the squid, the bad squid, because Obviously, persons like see squids and see them like peacefully, yeah. you know, like chilling. Yeah. But then you see this giant squid with the mouth, you know, yeah. very yeah. aggressive. So I, I would like that one to be in the game, uh, absolutely. Do you spend a lot of time in the water? Uh, yeah, obviously, yeah. <laughs> been, not for long. Yeah, not for long, but you, you, you had, you know, like that. That, that, you know, how to say, that aggressive yeah. touch to the oceans. Yeah. So you can be more afraid of them. So yeah, I, I definitely would no love. More swimming. Yeah, no more no swimming. More swimming. No more swimming. Um, see, I, I also like the Monster of the Night Sky because it, it can't, like, okay, when you read its kind of spec and it's like, oh, so if you've been staying up really late and you've mm -hmm. had insomnia, it's going to like come up. This sounds like something a parent would create to make sure you yeah. went to bed on time. Like if you don't go to bed on time, the Monster from the Night Sky yeah. is going to come and he's going to get you. Yeah, yeah, I, know, yeah I, I know. Thanks a lot, mom. That's probably. It's gonna terrify me yeah, from that seriously. one. Yeah. Um, who, wh wh which one do you think is actually gonna win, though? What do you think? Ooh, um, it's a tough one. Like, it's a tough on, you, one, know, yeah. you know the audience. I also love the, the nether one because I think it's like amazing. It's the hovering inferno. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's super cool to be like an arm mob in the nether. But I think it, it could probably win the flying one, the, the manta ray one, because yeah, it's like. And they, they you, hunt in packs as well. Yeah, you, like, you, you never see flying mobs, you know, around the, the world, so probably it could win. Oh, no, mob, you yeah. know what? It's You're going to spend all that time digging down, yeah. and you're not going to look up, yeah. and then all of a sudden there's going to be like a huge pack of them coming to attack wow. you and ruin yeah. your day. Yeah, very dangerous. Yeah. That is very dangerous. Yeah. But then maybe we should vote for one that's like just in the nether, because then we don't have to deal with it unless we go into the nether. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think the Great Hunger is going to win. Yeah? You, Did think? you see him? He's got his little adorable Giant mouth, mouth. <laughs> there. Just, oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's so I cute. hope he yeah. gets oh, it. Oh, he's adorable. Oh, I love, right. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want to hug him and then it eats you, you know? Oh my god. That's gonna be our security That's my for the constant house. problem mm -hmm. with zoos. I'm like, look at that tiger, Julia. I know, I it's know. a tiger. You can't hug it. Yeah. Just <laughs> a cute little cat. Just a cute little cat. It just wants to be straight. Oh, sorry, I need very to leave that alone. It's very weird. Um, so, are you excited for the main show? Yeah, for sure. You, very, you're on very stage, excited. right? Yeah, well. I will be on stage. Yeah. How scared are you? Because it's a really big stage. I know, I know. It's a scary, but very. I, I'm very excited. I'm very, you know, hyped out for that. Yeah, it's going to be, I mean, what did you think? Obviously, we can't reveal too mm -hmm. much about what's going okay. on. Obviously, I there know. are some gameplay yeah. elements there. But when you walked into the stage area, did you kind of freak out a little bit? Because I would have. Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully not. Yeah. I will stay calm and yeah. get into there. We got it, yeah. man. We, we got, got him along. Yeah, right. man. Are you going to do any kind of breathing exercises before you go out on stage? We actually did them right before the yeah. start of the show. Really? Uh, really? Uh, yeah, we were actually doing <laughs> Welcome, you know, I, like... I never do anything like what? that. Do I need to be doing things like that? Does don't it help? Me oh. so you don't do anything? No, I just well, shout louder. Well, you're an louder. expert. You're fine. Yeah. I just shout louder. I needed to do it. Really? We need it. 
We got it, though. We're ready. You're, yeah, you're we gonna, got it. You're going to be fine. You're going to be thank fine. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Well, thank you so much, especially and Tyler, to all of thank our you. guests for the pre-show. Uh, we're going to be having a fantastic post-show. So after the main Mike on Earth is finished, don't go anywhere because we'll have everyone back on here to kind of chat about what's happened. I think we just need to go to the main show now because you know what? You guys are going to be blown away. We can't wait for you to see it. We're very, very excited. And we will see you here right after the main show. See you then. Let's do yeah. it. Yes, come on, Mike Woo. Woo. Hey. <laughs> It's going to be great. Hey there, I'm Will. Arnett! Yes, right this way. Well, thanks, I'm here to Host the show? Yep, let's go find Lydia. There are no ducks in Minecraft. We need a chicken. Can you get one? Uh, I see what I can do. Uh, Lydia, look who's here. Hi, Will. So happy to have you here. Thank you so much for co-hosting with me. Um, I will be done in three minutes. We're, we're going to be on stage soon. And just a couple times, well, I'll be right back. OK, uh, what's Will Arnett? Will. If you could just tell me what I'm supposed to, you know. Can you sign this for me? I'm your biggest fan. I love everything you've ever done. Uh, sure. Uh, thanks. Uh, hey, could you hurry? Huh? Hey, what are you doing here? Can you hold this for a minute? Um, okay. Uh, what on earth? Minecon Earth. <laughs> yeah, we're still here. Hey, can you, um... Huh? They've got real llamas here? Amazing. They look way less blocky than they do in Minecraft. Is that the same llama? How'd you make a hole? Got a llama to feed. Ah, my trusty diamond sword. I can Minecraft so good. There's really, there's just nothing to it. I just, oh, God. I'm, boy. Oh, come on. That was our last cow. I'm so sorry. Hey, well, here is your hat and your cane. Uh, cane? Yep. I'm just going to take some measurements for the song and dance number later. Wait, wait, wait. Song and dance number? Yep. Thank you. No, I really just need to. Um... I will. I'm just going to touch up your makeup a little bit before you go on stage. Not that you need it. You've got great skin. I mean, after all, your face skin, it's kind of like a fancy outfit for your head. You've got sweat on your forehead. <laughs> Good to go. 20 seconds. Are you ready to go? Go where? Are you? Well, Lydia, it's time to go. Let's do this. You really don't look okay. Are you sure that you're... Yeah, we got this, Will Arnett. I am dying to find out what's happening in general. Welcome to MineCon. I'm Lydia Winters, Mojang's brand director, and this year I'm lucky to have an incredible co-host. Oh, good. I can't, can't wait to meet him. 
Who's it gonna, who's it gonna be? I'm excited to meet him too. Oh, JK, guys, come on, it's me. I am the incredible co-host, the co-host with the co-most. That's right, Will Arnett. Nice to meet you. Tonight, we have an amazing show for you all. Unlike Minecons of the past, we wanted to make this one as inclusive as possible. Instead of one location, we switched things up to make it about celebrating with the Minecrafters near you while knowing there are other crafters all around the world watching at the same time. Gosh. I mean, that is incredible, right? That must, that must be a giant monitor. <laughs> Oh, you mean from different places. I got it, sorry. Yep, got it. Yeah, like the, on the internet. Right, yes, Yeah. Of course. We have people watching from all over the world. Our Minecraft community is watching from home, movie theaters, and Minecon parties around the globe. It's gonna be a great show. Oh yeah. It does, uh, I gotta say, I gotta say it sounds amazing. I, I, one quick question though. Sure. Um, what exactly is the show, because, um, I mean, like, do I have lines, or like somebody backstage said something, up, they mentioned something about a song and a dance, and, and I, only, I only brought my rehearsal tap shoes, not my show tap shoes, oh, you know, so. Yeah. You know, don't, don't worry about it, Will. We, we have a lot of stuff planned. You'll be fine. Okay, good. Just as long as it doesn't involve tap dancing, because uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't be comfortable without my show taps. Uh, I, I think you'll probably, you'll be okay, but. Okay. I don't want to give everything away, but I can tell you that Jens will tell us about Minecraft future updates. We'll meet some of our awesome creators, declare the winner of the cosplay competition, and a lot more. It's like watching a live, star-studded Minecraft variety show. Oh, man. I tell, uh, I, tell you what, I tell you what else has got a lot of starry studs are my show tap shoes. Yeah, and they were... They were not cheap, and they, they weren't here. They didn't make it to the airport, and I think I switched planes in Nashville, so they're probably there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's, uh, they weren't cheap, but it was, they're great. They're great. Well, well you're, you're a lot fancier than I expected. Thank you. I appreciate you it. Thank you. Uh, we're trying something new this year where all of the viewers at home can influence a very important part of the game and the show. So for the first time ever, our players themselves will choose the next Minecraft mob going into the game. Uh, what? I'm, I'm sorry, excuse me, time out. Is, isn't that like a Minecraft first? Because I, I gotta say, that's kind of blowing my, my mind right now, you know? It you, is know what, you know what else is blowing my mind? Is, is it a, uh, another thing about your tap shoes? No, good question. But what's blowing my mind is, I'm hosting Minecon! <laughs> that's crazy! Well, I mean, you said you wanted to get better at Minecraft. I do, I do want to get better so I can destroy, I mean, um, sorry, play better than, not than, with, play better with my, my kids, you know? <laughs> I don't want to beat them, no, 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 I'm just, I'm, I'm a little worried that, you know, I don't know enough about Minecraft to be the host, so. But I mean, what better way for you to learn about Minecraft than hosting Minecon? True. Minecraft is always building, so we're going to be discovering and learning a bunch of new things today. Okay. The two of us and everyone at home. I, the game is growing and changing so much, Minecraft is literally my job and I can't keep up with it. So, you know, also there's, we, we kind of like throwing people into the deep end. It's part of our Minecraft DNA. Well, wait a second, I'm not, I'm not a real strong swimmer, so. Uh oh. If I'm gonna end up in a pool, I'm gonna need like a floaty or a pool noodle or something. Uh, relax, Will. It's it's just a metaphor. Okay. Or is it? <laughs> Which reminds me, the other day we gave one of our Mojang team members like a super crazy challenge. Challenge? Wow. Describe it to me. What happened? Well, I mean, luckily we we filmed it, so we could we could just take a look. Well, I'd, I'd actually just like to hear you describe it. That sounds better. No, I'm kidding. That would be even better. Let's see the video. Let's, let's see it. Minecraft isn't just a game about boundless creativity. In survival mode, players are left to fend for themselves with only their wits and the resources they find in the wild. But how would one of the Minecraft team fare in a real survival situation? Would their Minecraft training pay off? Hello, I'm Marsh, I'm part of the creative team at Mojang, and uh, my colleagues voted me the least likely to survive in the wilderness overnight. 
Oh, but you're going to prove them wrong, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to show them. I uh, played a lot of Minecraft, so I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing. Unlike Minecraft players, however, he won't have to craft everything from scratch. We've left him with all the essential survival supplies and tools a Minecrafter could want. Oh, dear. This is, uh, this is Minecraft merchandise. And we, we don't even make Minecraft food. Miles from civilization, Marsh will have to make it through one single night in the vast Swedish forests, a biome rich in resources, and sometimes wolves. I guess I should set up a shelter? I think pork chops on the menu tonight. Oh man. Break. It's time for the crew to check back in on Marsh and see how he did. Marsh, are you okay? Perhaps some challenges are best taken in game. Wow! That was, I hope it's not too late to submit for the Oscars. <laughs> uh, now, was that supposed to be like a, like, a, like a fun survival test or a scary survival uh, test? That was definitely a fun survival test. Okay, good, because it was fun. It wasn't scary, but it uh, doesn't make me scared for my own survival during this show at all. I'm not worried about that. Anyway, what's next? Well, like I said before, one of the coolest things we're doing this year is the mob vote, where the community will decide on which mob will go into the game. Basically, we all get to decide which Minecraft terror is going to enter the world and kill us. Oh, that's pretty... Well, so is, wait, so is this how you normally decide what to add to the game? Because uh, I got a lot of ideas. Yeah, I got a ton of... You know how, like, in adventure mode... Uh, you, you know, hold that thought, Will. Let's head over to the CEO of Mojang and official mob vote correspondent, Vubui! <laughs> Thanks, Lydia. Yes, this year at Minecon, we're doing something that has never been done before with Minecraft. We're letting our very own players decide the next mob that goes into the game. First, though, I wanted to address something. We've heard from some people, why not all four? Well, I could talk about how, each mo how much work goes into each mob before it can be added into the game and coded into Minecraft, and I could mention how much planning needs to go into how each mob affects everything else in the game, and that balance shouldn't be too strained by four major mobs all at once. But to be honest, we don't have time for all that. Let's just focus on the most important point. Players choosing what goes into the game is awesome. Anyway, let's review our four potential mobs and the unique characteristics of each that make them worth putting into your favorite game. First up, we have Mob A. These large jellyfish-like monsters have huge mouths that they use to propel themselves through the ocean currents. They send out tentacle-like tons to grab victims by their feet and drag them into the depths. Then we have Mob B. These flying manta ray-like monsters appear at high altitudes near people who haven't slept for many days, and they swoop down to get a good bite of flesh. They're the spawn of your nightmares, or are they just the hallucinations of your insomnia? Now, for Mob C. Rarely seen, these big mouths roam the world and burrow into the ground, where they open their huge camouflage jaws to consume anything unlucky enough to fall within. 
Their endless hunger devours the enchanting powers of items, which you might be able to use to your advantage. And finally, Mob D. The days of treating the Nether as a safe haven will come to an end when the blazes team up with their bigger kin. Floating in the vast lava lakes, they will find you and engulf you with a deadly area of effect attack. Stronger, shielded, and way more fiery, what hot secrets do they hold? Voting is incredibly easy. And if you're watching this stream, then you've already got the main thing you'll need, the internet. All of our voting will happen on Twitter, which we're using to keep it simple and transparent. Go to the Minecraft Twitter account, and you'll find the current poll. The poll is just open now, so go cast your vote. We'll be tallying up all of your votes as they come in, because soon we'll be back to see how things are going, and the least popular mob at the next check-in will be gone forever. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> well, that was a really cool effect. Can I do that at any time? Gone forever. forever. I'm a little scared of myself now. One more thing. As the show goes on, we'll be narrowing down the mobs as the least popular are removed from the competition. You'll get to vote again once we post the next poll. Back to you. Thanks, Vu. We'll be checking back with you later. Yep, and everyone at home, make sure that you keep voting throughout the show, and you could see your favorite mob making it into the game. So, Will, which mob are you going to vote for? Yeah, well, I, I can't tell you that. No, <laughs> yeah, very funny, but, but which one? Yeah, no, I'm sorry, I can't tell you that. It's, uh, this is between me, myself, and I, phone. Uh, well, okay. but... Just uh, hang on one second. I, but All right, voted, super easy. <laughs> okay, you I... Did it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you to tell me. No, I'm not going to tell you. No, it's not going to happen. Unless you start asking me a bunch of questions about myself and how I got into Minecraft. That sounds like a great idea. Oh, my gosh. Why would I tell you that? <laughs> okay. That was, First that question. Was... When did you start playing? Well, I'm actually a pretty early adopter. I'm not one of these noobs who just came on the scene, you know? I've, uh, now I've been mining and crafting with my boys, my own sons, for a couple, couple years at least. Well, I mean, that's... It's super awesome that you and your kids play together, but you do know that, that Minecraft's been out for over eight years? Um, are you sure about that? Because I kind of usually like to get in on the ground floor of things, so <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'd look that up for probably eight years? Or... Yeah, actually, today is the sixth anniversary of Minecraft going from beta to 1.0, and the six-year anniversary of the first Minecon in Las Vegas. Wow. I, I had to host that one by myself. It's, it's way nicer with you here, Will. Oh my gosh, thank you. That's so nice of you to say. Yeah, thanks. Uh, <coughs> mine gone. So, you can ask me any more questions? Oh, uh, yes, uh, back to you. Sure, yes. let's see. Uh, how do you play Minecraft? Like, for example, I'm an adventurer. I'm all about, like, what can I find when I'm mining? I, well, I'm sorry, I, I, I think you mean dying, because I did, I did hear that you're not the best player. Oh, ouch, but yeah, that's, that's totally true. I'm, I'm kind of known for my misadventures in the game. Okay, well, so for me, I like to create awesome things in the game, building everything possible. Like, this one time, I made this amazing house, and it was just like the best the best house, and it was, it was a house of epic proportions until a creeper, well, you know how that goes. Yeah, it's always a creeper. Always a creeper. Okay, one last question, because it's, it's always really fun to hear. What was your first impression of Minecraft? Um, well, I don't know if I should say this at Minecon, uh, but I gotta say that I, I, thought it, I thought it looked a little pixely, you know? Okay. Like like yeah. chunky, like kind of like a like a chunky pixel. You know yeah, I mean? I mean it's a similar experience for most people. It, it's part of the charm, the the chunky pixel. Yeah. Uh, we recently thought it would be cool though if we had people, if we gave people the ability to make it look different with a new graphics pack. Wait, what? No. Now? Come on! I, I, now I, I love that chunky pixel. Unless. I mean, it's a choice, but just think 4K. 
4K. Oh, not 5K. Oh, sorry, I thought you were going to say 5K. Yeah, well, no, 4K. Yeah, what was I thinking? 5K, that's crazy. I mean, it would be one more than 4K, but no, yeah. it's probably more manageable. I just, I just can't picture it. Yeah. Well, we actually have a sneak peek, and this is another Minecraft first. It's the biggest video we've ever made by far. We worked with an amazing actress, a fantastic composer, and well, I guess I should stop describing it yeah. and what we're about to watch. Look, if you somehow combine fantastic composing with amazing actressing, I feel like that we're in for something fantastically amazing. <laughs> Even, especially if you got the same guy who did the drone shot in the other video above the trees, that would be pretty rad. Oh. <laughs> That was great. He's pretty awesome. Well, we felt that an epic new look for Minecraft really deserved an epic new musical. You, you could even call it a, a super duper musical. Have you ever thought, sorry, you're just not my type. You've got style, but you're not for me. But then along comes an image that creates some hype. And it makes you smile to see what this world can be. When you're given the key spirit starts to soar cuz for the first time you truly see yourself so you dig down deep and you take So awesome. Also, that, that, that uh, woman in the video, how do I know her? She's feel super familiar. Yeah, well, who better than Melissa, who stars as Supergirl, to help us debut Super Duper Graphics? Wow. <laughs> superhero, why didn't you tell me you needed a superhero? <laughs> Sorry, that's just a Lego Batman reference. Available now. Yeah. And if you want, it's available now, you know, on Blu-ray, DVD, Christmas is coming up, whatever, it's not a big deal. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think we all caught that. Okay. Anyway, uh, you know, those votes are coming in very fast. Oh, wow, Will, it, it looks like your mob is in the lead. No way, you mean, you mean the yet unnamed mob I voted for? <laughs> nice try, Lydia. Okay, okay, so... Ya. Fine. Since you won't tell me, let's check in with some of our creators and see what mob they're most excited about. Okay, those mobs are really cool. They're crazy, and Mobby is so unique to Minecraft. Just a manta ray in the sky that swoops in and kills you. Yeah, like, what, what does it do? Like, it attacks you if, like, you haven't slept yet? I never yeah. sleep in Minecraft, so I, I, mean, I think I'm in trouble. You're just going to be coming up from caving, and you've been spending days underground, and you're uh, just going to come up, yeah. and, oh, well, you're dead if you're not watching the night sky. <laughs> you know what I'm worried about is that you're going to be looking at that guy, and you're just going to be staring up at the night sky, waiting for him, you know, if you can't sleep, and then Mob C is going to be the one that's going to wreck you. I mean, it looks so cute. It looks so deceitful. You might want to put, like, a lasso on it, keep it as a pet, <laughs> like, have it, like, <laughs> in your house or something. Mob D looks just like an overpowered blaze. Uh, I don't like regular blazes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be going to the nether anytime the soon. The nether's just like the boss realm now. Yeah. What about how scary Mob A looks? Like, oh, thing is like yeah. big teeth, and it's just going to like grab you and pull you down under the water. With mm -hmm. a tentacle tongue? Oh, oh yeah, no, tentacle You're tongue. You're never going to be able to conquer an ocean monument the same way again. You're just going to have to worry about that thing roaming the ocean. Don't dip your toes in the water. Oh, no. <laughs> I think the conclusion is that no matter what, we're just dead. Yeah, we're just going to die. It's yeah. going to get hard. Guys, guys, quick. Will and Lydia are backstage. Now's our chance. What are we going to do? Let's play some Minecraft. Yeah, it's been updated, so I think it's better to get it today. Yeah, guys. let's go. Yeah. All right. Who's down for a race? I am. I got the green one. I'm going red. Actually, I'm going yellow. I'm green. Yellow. Ooh, I want the purple yellow. one. Okay. All right, you all ready? Yeah. Start your engines. Three, two, one. Hey, oh, 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 oh
see what's happening. Oh my god. Yellow's in oh, the lead. Yeah. Oh my god. We'll see for how long. Oh my god. Yellow. I'm never gonna right. catch up to you. Come on. Oh, okay. we hit the tires. Third place and second place. Uh, oh, he's coming in quick. I'm getting you, Lon. I don't oh, think no. so. I got, oh, I got the burners on me. I got Please. you, boy. I got the shortcuts. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh. The track. first. Oh, right. one lap. I'm All catching right. up to you, purple. Oh, I crashed. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, he's dead. No, don't hit me. Sorry, man, but yeah, I have to wait for now. Am I behind oh, on no. you guys? Oh, Ooh. I think Ooh, these quarters, man. Oh my god. I'm yeah, the lead. We're about the scenery later. We got a race to win. Yeah, I'm getting the lead, guys. I'm uh -huh. sorry. Oh, oh, I crashed. Crash again. Oh, look at him. Oh, All right, no. I'm on to you, dude. Okay. Time to Second lap. Yeah. Right. All right. Let's see. All right. This turns real fast. Come on, I'm let me catch, catch up. Getting here. it. Yeah. All right, let me see. Yeah. Right yeah. the corner. Where are you, Log? No. <laughs> Please, go easy on me, man. I'm not good behind the wheel. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, we'll see how that yeah. works. Oh, yeah. my oh, boy. No. Oh. Off track. <laughs> Almost. Lap number three. Okay. Come on. Oh. I'm getting it, my boy. I'll get him quick. You know what? You Take a cut. Punch. Okay. have to push a little bit more, Lock. I don't think so. Stop with the exhaust already, man. It's getting in my eyes. Oh. Woo. Okay, okay, almost there. Closer, closer. Oh, I crashed. Oh. Yes, quick. Short head. Oh, it's oh, quick. Oh, come on. All right, final lap. Final lap, guys. Let's see. Who will closer win? Closer. Coming for you, Rabba. Yeah, I don't, I don't think is. so. I don't think so, man. Come on, I just cheer for us. Oh. Yeah. See. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 I should think. Go. Um, what? I think she's what? going pretty well so far. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, hey, hey, the audience. Oh, what are you? What are you doing here? You took over the stage. Creators, the jig is up. I mean, guys, the show is literally my only job here. I'm feeling very threatened. Okay, <laughs> this is. Creators, retreat. We're retreat, sorry. Retreat. 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 What's wrong, guys? That was, that was so weird. They were like caught, but they also left super slow. Yeah, they were. I think they were really excited to see you, Will. Yeah. <laughs> but to be fair, I mean, we, we kind of did mosey Max slowly. Yes, that's true. And yes, maybe I did get a little bit territorial. But it's not like when they're doing Let's Plays that I can just go into their game and take over whatever it is they're doing. Well, I mean, it's funny that you should say that because there's actually a way that you can do that. Our friends over at Mixer have been working on something that lets you do exactly that. <sighs> Best day ever. Maybe I'll try to open this one first. What do you think? Yeah. We're gonna start with this one. Oh. Another one. Happy birthday! Come on in. Okay, seriously, enough with the pigs. <laughs> and chicken. Interactive Minecraft streaming like never before, only on Mixer. Wow. I gotta say that looks uh, that looks pretty great. But pig, pigs aren't just, just gonna start showing up on stage here, are they? Uh, I I think I think we're, we're safe for now. Okay. I'm sorry, what do you mean for now? We should probably put in like a pig alarm or something, you know? Just something that we, I mean, we can't be worried about pigs when we've got other stuff to focus on, like the mob vote. True. I'm sure everybody wants to know which mob is the next one to get the ax. Yeah. Nice, nice Minecraft pun, Will. Thank you. Thanks. Um, I don't know. Oh, ax. Yes, yeah, sorry. I totally meant that to be a Minecraft joke. Yeah. I guess when, you, when you've been in the biz as long as I have, these things just sort of, they flow right through you. Ah. Uh, as long as I've been in this biz and considering how young I still am, it's just, uh, I'm really like a conduit, you know? I'm like a vessel, if you will, for really good, um, really good puns. Uh, a, a vessel, you mean like a, like a jug? Yes, Lydia, like a jug. I'm like a jug of puns. 
My whole career has been boiled down. I'm now just a jug of puns. Why don't we just check in with Vu? Vu, how are you doing? Oh, thanks, Will. So it's only been a little while since we opened the voting, but already you humans have been voting in the thousands. It's already time to say goodbye to one of our potential mobs. Let's look at the voting as it stands right now. It was a really, really close race, but in the lead right now, with 27% of the votes, we have Mob B. In second place, with 26% of the votes just behind, we have Mob C. Yeah! Which means one of the last two mobs is going to have to go away forever. 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 Okay, the effect totally isn't fun anymore. <laughs> the mob with the least number of votes, with only 23%, destined to be banished to never be seen again, well, until it's made into a mod by someone, so I guess like tomorrow, is Mob A. I know, I know. One down, three to go. Uh-oh, Zippo. Voting now resets with the final three. So go to the new poll we just posted on the Minecraft Twitter account and vote on the remaining mobs. Which do you want to see make it into the game? Okay, back to you, Lydia and Will. Okay, thanks, Boo. Looks like you're having a lot of fun. The community has spoken, though, and Mob A is out. Yeah. It's like, you don't need to be so happy about it. Uh, Will is... Is that the one you voted for? No. Gosh, no, I don't know. Maybe. Yes, it's the one I voted for, Lydia Mabe. Oh. Uh, it's all right, guys. Thank you. Don't worry, Will. Fresh start. You and everyone out there can vote in round two for the remaining mobs. We'll be checking back with Vu in about a half hour. So whether you're at home, with friends, at a viewing party, or anywhere else, keep those votes coming in. Will... Are you, are you okay? Yeah, it's just like, man, I really hit rock bottom there for a second. <sighs> but it, I'm okay now, because it's this, it's this community. I mean, I, I know that they're out there, right? But, and they can see us. I just really wish that I could see them. You know what I mean? Yeah. <sighs> you, know, you know what, Will? These no, it's last, crazy. It's but a... these last two minutes, they've been an emotional roller coaster for you. So I'm going to, let me, let me, I'm going to pull some strings and see what I can do. Can we? Can we get the, can we get the videos? Of are you serious? Can we get the, this is amazing. the Lydia, you are everyone? amazing. You are amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks, thanks, Will, and, and you, you're, you're so famous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> if you mean it, thank you. That's so uh, very sweet of you to say. <laughs> Let's check in with our community around the world. Hello to Seattle, Stockholm, London, Guangzhou. There are more viewing parties happening that we can't even see all around the world. Like at the Denver's Children's Hospital, an awesome library in Scotland, an amazing community center in Tel Aviv. That's just to name a few. There are Minecrafters all over the world watching and being so excited right now. Wow, I'm so happy, that is awesome. So happy that they can see us and we can see them. It's amazing to see all these people from around the world so excited about Minecraft. Although I will say to those, those kids in the library in Scotland, shh. <laughs> We're yeah. trying to read in here. <laughs> I, know, I know, right. Li library might not be the perfect show for it, but I guess yeah. they're, they're being super, super quietly excited. One of the, mo the things that I'm most excited about this year is actually that we have new official Minecraft community events. 
Previously, we've only been involved in just one event per year, which meant that people had to try to get to one location to be part of our Minecraft events. But this year, we've announced a new program with community partners around the world. We've already announced at least 16 events in four countries, and we're working with our partners to add even more. The first event kicks off early in the new year. Wow, that is awesome. 16 events in four countries? That's like... 16 events in four countries, that's like five and a half events per country. That's amazing. Sure. Uh, it's also really exciting to have more people coming together around the world to celebrate their love of the game in person. Of course, yeah. Celebrating their love of the game and their love of healthy, no-holds-barred competition. Uh, you, I, thought, I thought you said you were a builder, but you kind of sound more like a, a PvP guy to me. Well, I mean, you know, I'm working on my skills, but I tend to be a natural at most things, so <laughs> things just, uh, things come easily to me. Well, we're, we're going to have another com Minecraft competition later in the show, and then you can show us all your skills. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I would, right. I mean, I, I really want to, but um, truth is I hurt my thumb earlier <laughs> in, a, um, in a thumbing accident. A a, a thumb accident? Yeah. Well, it was actually an old thumb injury that I just, I started acting up around, just right around now-ish. That, yeah. Really killing, yeah. Convenient. Uh, well, maybe the next competition could be more your speed then. It's time for the cosplay competition. Yes. <laughs> Love cosplay. It's the perfect combination of cause and play. Uh, do, do you know what cosplay is? Well, Not even a little. No, I don't. <sighs> You know how people sometimes dress as a character they love, like, like maybe Batman? Batman? <laughs> Why would you mention Batman? Will? Will? Sorry, it's just like I make like 17 cents every time I say Batman in that voice. <laughs> Batman, Batman, Batman. <laughs> Saving up for the holidays, Batman. I'll, I'll give you a dollar if you stop. Great. Yes, I will stop every second of every day. Ugh. That was uh -oh. a lot. I didn't think that through. Uh, people also dress us up as awesome things for Minecraft, and today we have the perfect person to host this year's cosplay competition. Everyone, can you please welcome to the stage last year's amazing winner, the awesome Magma Cube, Ruthie! <laughs> everyone, and well. Oh, gosh, thank you for the uh, special mention, Ruthie. Um, hi there. Well, I mean, look, you've got to get me up to speed on this. First of all, what costume did you win last year? I built an insane Magma Cube costume that I could move across the stage the same way the cube moves in the game. That sounds impossible. I'd have to seem some kind of, like, video proof in order to actually believe it really happened. Okay. Oh. <laughs> wow, there it is. That is awesome, look at that. Thank you. That is well done, Ruthie, that's so good. Ruthie really knows how to make a fantastic costume. Before we look at our three finalists though, let's take a look at all the great cosplayers that entered this year. Wow, that's so rad. What a good looking group. Let's, give a, let's have a big hand for every single costume that entered this year's show. Let's hear it. Yeah. Some of the winners' costumes were actually so elaborate that they couldn't even get them here because they would get destroyed. But we still get to meet the creators of the awesome costumes that won. So in third place, all the way from Lancaster, California, please welcome Lily to the stage! Yeah. 
Wow. So uh, you couldn't bring your costume here because it was too big, right? It had been destroyed? Yeah, but it's what's on the inside that counts. Sorry. Oh, it's on, right. It's on <laughs> what's on the inside that counts. That's true. That's a great answer. There it is. Wow, that is so great. Look at that. That's so amazing. And you're inside that, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somehow I was, yes. <laughs> Do you think, I mean, you could have just worn it here, maybe. Uh, no, that would have been tough. That would have been tough to sit I, on an airplane. I, I don't think people would uh, be fond of a wolf riding next to them. I think you're right. <laughs> How long did that take you to build? It took me a few weeks. Mainly the planning was probably one of the most difficult things about it. Yeah. And making sure I wouldn't destroy it when I wear it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good thing to make sure you don't do. All right. Well, that's awesome. Well, congratulations. That looks so amazing. Thank, Thank you. you so much, yeah. Lily. Walk over to Ruthie and collect your prize, our third place winner. Wow. In second place, coming from Port Douglas, Australia, I'm happy to introduce Joel and his friend Troy. Joel and Troy. Hi. Hey guys. How's it going? It's going great. <laughs> happy summer to you. So which one of which you is summer in Australia? Huh? So which one of you is Joel and which is Troy? I'm Joel. And I'm Troy. I kind of figured once you said you were Joel that he was Troy. <laughs> I was like, that's got to be the combo. Uh, uh, so tell us a little bit about your costume here, guys. Look at this. This is so amazing. Yeah, so I made a guardian costume. Uh, so I made it like about a month ago, and I took many, many, many hours to create. So I dedicated a lot of my time into making this costume. That's so great. And you guys worked on this together, yeah? Yeah, so uh, my dad helped me uh, like guide me with the, to make the costume, and then uh, I did a lot of the making of the costume and with my dad, and then Troy helped out about halfway through. Nice. Good going, Troy. That's awesome. Well, obviously we're sad that, that you couldn't bring it here, but we're happy that you guys are here. Congratulations. It looks amazing. Nice Our job. Our second place winners. Ruthie will give you your awesome prize. All right. And finally, the winner of our costume contest for Minecon Earth from San Antonio, Texas. Let's meet father and son, Chad and Noah. So where, where did the idea for your costume come from? Story mode. Story mode? He started asking about, you know, being the wither storm for, for his costume probably five to six months before Halloween. But it took, uh, you know, couple weeks of detailed work and, and some practice fits and I think we, we ended up getting it. What would you do if you're if you if you're the big winner? Would you make more costumes? No. No? What would you do? Turn into a wither storm. You turn into a wither storm if you won? Yeah. I think you have to do that first. No. <laughs> Let's please welcome our grand prize winners to the stage. Look at this. This is so, I can't, I don't even know where everybody is in these. I think we have one, let me, let me see, is there, oh. do we have somebody? Oh, oh, hi. There he is, hey buddy. Congratulations. How do you feel right now? Good. You feel good? But you, you said, I'm a little scared to be near you, you said you were gonna turn into the wither storm on stage if you won. Are you gonna, are you gonna do it? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, close that We're back gonna up. We're going to put you back in How there. awesome is this? How, you guys worked on this for a long time, huh? Uh, we worked on it for, I'd say, a month or two on and off, but, you know, we had a very demanding visionary here. It's very, it's very inspirational, and, and all you people at home and all you people here, this could be you next year, right? So it's, you guys have really inspired a lot of other people, a lot of other kids and families to do awesome stuff. Congratulations, you guys, on the amazing, amazing costumes. Our first place winner. 
Ruthie, I think you're going to have to help them carry their prizes. I, I think they've got their hands full here. Yeah. Let's give all of our winners one last round of applause. <laughs> well, isn't it impressive all of the time and effort everyone took in making their cosplay? Yeah, it's awesome. Looks like they spent almost as much time on their outfits as I do. Uh, yeah, you, and you look super nice. Oh, thank you. Uh, n you know, now that you actually know what cosplay is, what would you dress up as? Ooh. Uh, that's a great question. Maybe like a pile of invisible glass? Yeah, or like a pig that can never get eaten? Or like a, like a pixely guy who's new in town but everyone can tell right away that he's just like really cool just by the way he walks and they invite him to hang out and make swords and I don't know, something like that. Oh. that would... Wow, impressively specific. Yeah, he'd we be have... a cool guy. Yeah. We have something really cool coming out that could give you sort of some cosplay inspiration. Great. Yes, please inspire me, Lydia. Uh, today is the first look of an all-new, full-length, Adventure Time Times Minecraft episode with our friends at Cartoon Network. Oh, it's been so hard keeping this a secret. <laughs> yeah, you just, um, you, didn't, you didn't keep the secret. You literally just told us the secret. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, then we can take a look. Okay. My car. Get ready, ready for a sneak peek of the Adventure Time Minecraft Special. So. Another beautiful day in the land of Vu. <laughs> oh, hey, check out this block. Uh, yeah, it's a block. There's a lot of blocks here. Yeah, it's awesome. Hey, you're a vampire. Shouldn't you be, like, burning right now? It's a very valid point. SPF 100 million. Mmm. And it's a video game, so. True. True. Oh. Hello, Minecon. I'm Jeremy Shade, a voice of Finn from Adventure Time. And I'm Olivia Olsen, voice of Marceline the Vampire Queen. And we were just playing the Minecraft Adventure Time mashup pack. Smooth, Jeremy. Well, you know how I do. We're actually at the Cartoon Network offices in Atlanta checking in on the upcoming Adventure Time Minecraft special episode. And we recently recorded our parts for it. And now the show's awesome designers and animators are currently combining the worlds of Minecraft and Adventure Time in their own awesome style. Check it out. Look at you all blocky. Look at my blocky buns. What up, Jake? Marcy! Nice. Blocktastic. Hey, girl. Y'all got griefed. Unacceptable! Oh my blob. Enderman! Cubular! Now, we don't normally let the mob see this kind of stuff, but we have a very special treat for Minecon an exclusive sneak peek of the preliminary animation for the upcoming episode, featuring your favorite vampire. Dracula? Yeah. Minecon, enjoy the sneak peek from all of us at Adventure Time. <laughs> Who here loves windmills? <laughs> all right, now get to work. Yo, Marcy, that's a real nice windmill. Thanks. When it's done, I'm going to grind up a whole mess of bone meal. What's that, boss? Keep working, buddy. So, what you got there? A little lump destined for something big. Just like your butt. Ha! <laughs> Good one. The Adventure Time Minecraft Special, coming in 2018. Such an exciting collaboration. Thank you to the team over at Cartoon Network for creating that video, especially to premiere at Minecon Earth. Yes, yeah. Thank you. Maybe, maybe next time give a certain well-known voice actor a call so they can be part of it or, or not. Doesn't matter, whatever. What, whatever you think is best. Um, what is next, Lydia? Well, Minecraft is a game of many worlds and it's always expanding and merging with both new creations and existing things that people love. Yes, well, I've looked around the internet and people have built some pretty much 
It feels like they built pretty much everything in Minecraft. I heard that somebody even built all of Denmark. That's like an entire country. It is. Minecraft players are pretty passionate, yeah. but they, they love things other than Minecraft. And it's amazing to see that when they love those things and Minecraft, they bring it together and then share them on servers and maps and all types of other content. So you can just play with the things that other people create? Yes, and you know you probably know the drill by now in the show, but we actually have a video to show you a glimpse of what you can experience. Are you kidding? The video budget alone on this thing is insane. <laughs> the number of videos. Told them Minecraft was just a game about breaking and placing blocks. Because, well, it is. But they saw something more. We were just a group of kids who loved to make maps. We were doing things with redstone no one had tried before. Sure, people said it was dangerous, but when you see your creations come to life, that's when you know you hit something special. The unquenchable thirst to keep creating is the common thread among these dedicated blockheads. We started experimenting with adventure maps a long time ago. It's taken a really long time to get to this point. There's been a lot of hard work, but you know what? It's been worth it. Look where we are now. We're killing it. Some people call me the resident fashionista of Minecraft, but I'm not really into labels. I just love to create fun skins for people all over the world. It makes me feel really proud to be a part of this community. But making maps and skins was just the beginning. What started as a few small blocks and some big ideas became a way to give millions of Minecraft players a new way to play their favorite game. Theirs is an inspiring story of creativity, innovation, and new ways to play Minecraft. Featuring Nox Cool, Razzleberry Fox, Imagiverse, Blockception, Pixel Heads, and introducing for the first time to the marketplace, Minecraft. There is no limit to the imagination of an empowered community of creators. Experience their imaginations for yourself in the Minecraft Marketplace. And available for a limited time. Free Minecon content now in the Marketplace. Hi, I'm Emily Orson. I work with our creators on the Minecraft Marketplace. Lydia and Will are off checking the vote count. But while they're gone, let's talk more about our incredible creators. We just heard from Joe, Alex, and Raz. Aren't they awesome? <laughs> soon, soon we'll have Mindcrack, making maps and selling them too. But Minecraft isn't the only new partner we have to announce. We have new server partners. Remember servers? Yeah. For when you want to play free mini games with your cousin and your neighbor and 10 or 50,000 others? Let's take a look. In a world where everything is better together, millions of players had a dream. Their dream? To compete on some of the greatest Minecraft servers. And in their quest, a quest nearly as epic as this cat falling off a shelf, they found a community more vast than they could have ever imagined. From survival games on NPVP, to turf wars on Mineplex, from bed wars on Lifeboat, to island games on Cubecraft, and introducing Death Run on the High. One team, the players of Minecraft, set out to do the impossible. Theirs is the story of everyday champions who set out to prove that with hard work, practice, teamwork, and just a little bit of luck, anyone can be a mini game master. Multiplayer servers now available in Minecraft because anyone can be a champion. Well, apart from Neil. Sorry if you're watching this, Neil. This way. They're just right in here. <laughs> what is going on in here? 
here. We're trying to keep up, but this is crazy. There's just too many people voting. Hey, come on, people. We can do this. We got another batch coming. Oh, no. We need to go. Wait, there, what? What do you mean? No, I can't come over right now. I go on in like 15 seconds. I'm, I, oh, hey. So, um, yeah, things are going extremely well right now. We love votes. We just love them so very much, which is why I thought I'd uh, take this chance to remind you that we're now down to just three mobs, right? And the only way to help your favorite mob make it into the game is to go to the Minecraft Twitter account and make your very important selection. You could maybe get a few, uh, sorry, you could maybe get a few friends to help you out as well. I'm gonna go check on our amazing mob vote counters who love their jobs more than anything in the world and we'll be back in just a bit to find out who is next on the chopping block. Get it? Chopping block? Back to you, Will and Lydia. I, uh, I didn't get it. No. Oh, chopping block. No, I did get it. Sorry. Well, it looks like there's a lot of voting happening right now. Keep it up, as soon we're going to be finding out which mob is going to be eliminated. However, first, it's time for a challenge. Will, you've learned a lot today. How well do you think you know our content creators? Uh, pretty well. Pretty well. Do you feel that you're ready to go head to head against me? No, no, I don't. Well, well, you have to. Oh, okay. That's what's up next. All right. We're going to play a game called Pick Me. Team Lydia versus Team Will in a battle to see who can coach a team of talented content creators to victory in a match of Build Blitz. Great. May the best me win. Instead of us selecting our teams, though, they actually get to choose their coaches. Wait, so they get to, they're picking between you and me? Yeah. Huh. I can smell your fear. You smell my fear? I don't think so. I don't. <laughs> Let's welcome to the stage OMG Chad, Daphne Elaine, True Tris, and Pixel Princess 80. <laughs> All right. Yeah, welcome. And when we've given it enough time where you pretended to think about going to Team Lydia, just come on over to Team Will. Anytime. Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I think Lydia knows a little bit more about Minecraft. Well. Uh, so I guess, I mean, Will, you're going to have to convince a couple of these creators to go over to Team Will. Fine. I will leave an outgoing message on your voicemail as Batman. <laughs> There we go. I'll play with Will. Yeah. Come on, True. I guess I'll go too. Yes, there we go. That, that hardly okay. seemed fair. Yeah, I play to win. I play to win. <laughs> OK, so let's play the game. OK, so this is Blitz Build. Everybody pick up your controllers and choose a color. I call yellow. I'll, I'll be call red. green. I got blue. You know, it matches the shirt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to see a uh, build here, and we're going to have to memorize it as fast as we can and then rebuild it with the exact number of blocks. Once you put down a block, you can't pick it back up, so uh, rain. pressure's rain, on. Pay attention to the arrows on the side of the wall. Okay, so you can do memorize it. that. Bottom. Okay, the floor okay. is there's easy. There's a stair I right here. Okay. Don't forget that. The one little thing, uh, then the three. You get extra points there's, Okay, there's a stair. Faster. There's a stair. Oh, we do we get extra points if we okay, do it okay, faster. Okay, okay. okay, come on. We got this. Come on, we can do this. Yep. Let's see. Easy points with the platform. Okay, yeah. floor, 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 floor. The platform stretch across go. the whole thing. Okay. Slowly make your way up. Okay, yeah. Yes, perfect. Okay. Looks great. Go as fast as you can. The floor is good. Oh. I'm okay. a professional floor builder. Yeah, oh, nice. no. Chad. All right, so was there a space in the middle, right? Okay. Uh, I think, did it have feet? Yeah. Uh, have feet? Four by four, ah. yeah. Was I supposed to watch to help I you? don't, yes. 
Go get intel on the yeah, other okay, side. Okay, yeah. um, oh, hey, uh, I just wanted Will. to make sure that you guys still had a connection. Good. Yeah, we do. Yep. We do. Great, great. You know, hey, it's you it's great to really go against good. you. Really uh -oh, good. That Dude, not good to see you. That no, looks a little off. Oh, no. no. You're doing, we're doing all right. Like okay, I think right. we, we've totally got them. Where was the okay. stairs? No worries. It oh, right my It kind of looks like it. How much time? It kind of looks like it? We got 12 seconds left, guys. Okay, 10 yeah. seconds, 10 seconds. Yeah, I got that's an right. extra yes, log. Yes, yes. I don't know uh, what to uh, do uh, with it. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Really okay, close. Pretty close. Good. close. That's okay, really one close. second, and that's it. Oh, no. Okay, okay. let's okay. look at these This was the original build that we're seeing and behind this build. Yeah, I didn't go behind oh, it. Oh, I got the stairs I way wrong. And, oh, uh, oh, I, I, yeah. It was behind oh, it. No. Oh, yeah. Your, okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, missing so, one in the front. Okay. Currently, uh, it looks like we are in the lead yes. right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't, okay. Yeah, I we got back. this. We you got, got this. Back. Okay, we're going to do two more rounds. Okay, let's see what's up to next. And by the build. way, this is like not scripted. We have no idea what is about ready to yeah. <laughs> show up as the next build. What's the next build? Okay, here we go in uh, just about a second. We'll see it. Here we go. Here we are. Hey, make sure to pay attention. I will Hopefully too. it's easy. Okay, okay, it's a bed. Oh, it's yeah. a bed. Oh, okay. Look okay. at that. bed. Okay. okay. All right, remember what, like, the look, there's a, look at the, the, the slabs. Slabs. Okay, slabs. The slabs. Slabs underneath. The back is a okay. Back. Uh, back. It's like a headrest or something. Yeah, the headrest. There, so oh, okay. and the, the stairs on the side. Okay. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. I'm nervous. Okay. I don't think this is right. Oh, oh I put oh, down the keep going. Box. Will, do me a favor. Yeah. Um, go over there and see what okay. they're making. Well, I, I, I think they're trying to make the bed. <laughs> There's a chance that we're making a bed. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but, but I mean. I'm just looking. This, I'm keeping neutral. Yeah. I'm not going to tell them anything. Oh, hey, Lydia, go over there wait. and take their controllers. Oh, no, that's wait a second. You know what? That's, that's a way better strategy. I think that's right. <laughs> that's a good strategy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe we got him to place you one block wrong. wrong. Maybe it's perfect. slightly I unfair. I think that's... Oh, no, oh, it no, needed no, no, to be no. up higher. Oh, no, no. Okay. It's on a platform. Oh. Oh, oh no. It does oh, yeah. look like a bed. It's just not on the platform. Okay. What's happening here? I don't know. Exactly. Wait. I don't know. I think I'm taking creative liberty. I, I think I'll get Oh, and it was underneath, too. Yeah, I missed the white Oh, no, right the slabs put the right slots there. on, that's helpful. There you go. Was there stairs on oh, the And maybe okay, two, you're embarrassed. One, one second left. Okay. I got the uh, multiplier. Oh, oh no. man. I don't think any of those look. Okay, so that's what the original bed looked like. Time is up. Uh-oh. This oh. is what we built. Okay. Uh, I mean, they... <laughs> I like how someone needed stairs to get into their bed. That's I, pretty funny. Are we, Let's okay, see, how are we doing? Right? Currently, oh. we are still in the lead. Still yeah. in the lead. Getting, getting in one more round. There's some rounds, Matt. We got this. One we got this. Let's go. Okay. 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 Come on. You okay. picked correctly. Guys, don't, I don't want to have to give you like a Hoosiers type speech to inspire you, but we got to win this thing. <laughs> okay. Let's try our okay, best. this is the final round. Okay. Okay. Last Thank one. You. Oh my gosh. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Be the change. Okay. Oh, a mouse. <laughs> a mouse. Okay. A mouse. Okay. A mouse. Is, okay, remember a where mouse. the nose is. Remember, the nose. Like, remember where the buttons are, too. The buttons are on the eyes. Oh my okay. goodness. Yeah. It's really cute. That's adorable. One kick in the front. It is adorable. adorable. Okay, we have five more seconds across. to look at this okay. thing. Memorize every moment. Where it is. It starts in the back. Easy. Okay, there we go. Okay. This we got. Goes right, th right yes. there. Got there it. Right, so pink right here. Right okay, you're starting with the ears. And then, Good idea. Uh, yeah. It was the, the black. Okay, the nose. Yep, right. No. Oh, it's the nose. Okay. Is, yeah, the you got to win eyes, eyes, or else yeah. you, you got, you're both grounded. Nose. <laughs> oh, it looks so cute. Okay, it is so Wait, cute. you're not my kids. <laughs> hey, <laughs> audience, <laughs> make some noise if you want our team to win. Team Lydia! Yeah. Okay, but you could give them Team Will. Team Will. Team Will. Thank you. Wow. I'm new. I mean, you know, I'm a okay, I kind of a noob. Okay. Put the buttons Okay, on I'm the finishing the ears. 25 seconds. That's good. Okay, they look oh, like no. mice. Oh, he flipped it. <laughs> <They look. laughs> well, mine, oh, my no. ears uh -oh. are a little. Oh, he's like middle. Uh, the middle is empty. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Good. Okay, I'm going to hit the white guy on here. 14, 14 seconds left. Um, you kind of. Oh, no. It doesn't have a head. I, have I think it's That's an artistic okay. representation oh, this one is of what a mouse yeah? look like. Yeah, the mouse. I don't know where these last two blocks go. Okay, so. Is that it? What color is it? One, yeah, two black. Okay. That, that black. looks oh, like no. a mouse. Okay, this was uh, the original oh, build. And okay. here's oh, the, uh, the things the back here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> one has some close. bloodshot eyes. That's oh, quite, uh, <laughs> Okay. And uh, the final scores are in, I believe. We you have won! Have won! Yes. Yes. Yeah. You, tried. you played well. Great you played very you. well. Nice job. Congratulations. Thank you. You guys, you played well. Next Good. time. Yeah. Congratulations, Lydia.
<laughs> Thanks, Will. Lydia, listen, listen, I'm getting some breaking news right now in my ear, which is weird because there's no speaker in there. Huh. Now, here's, now it's time to head over back over to VU and the mob vote desk to find out what current voting is looking like. VU! That was awesome. Yeah, oh, th thanks, Will. Um, yeah, I, I know earlier you all had a surprise visit to the voting room, which might have had the appearance of chaos, but that's just what's lovingly referred to by the mob vote counting industry as organized chaos. Nothing to worry about, though. The team is all caught up now, and I have the results on the next elimination. In first place, with 37% of the votes, we have Mob B. People really love Mob B. It is the mob to beat. That just leaves Mob C and D. So which one do we have to say goodbye to now? It's Mob D. Such a promising future now banished to history and memedom. Okay, so let me just find my lighter. Do we have the lighter? Uh, I didn't really think that through. Two down, two remain. Fresh round of voting begins right now. If you want your mob to win, you have to keep voting. And if your original favor is now gone, it's time to back a new horse, or, or rather mob, and pick your next favorite. You'll be making a part of Minecraft history. Back to you, Lydia and Will. <laughs> Thanks, Boo. It's so close. And Sadly, goodbye to Mob D. Thank you to everyone who's voting. We're down to two now, and you, the community, will decide very soon. We're going to be revealing the winner. Will, which mob do you think it will be? Well, you know, at this point, it could go either way. Both these mobs are incredibly cool. You know, I mean, not as, not as cool as what I might come up with, but because, uh, you know, you, can, you know how hard it can be to come up with a really cool new mob. You know, I mean, how hard could that be? Oh, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty complicated process. Is it? Yeah, there's a lot of research and work that needs to be done. You can't just sort of think something up and put it straight into the game. There's the design, the sounds, its behavior, how it interacts with the world, other characters you. There's a lot to think about. Wow. You're right. That does actually sound pretty complicated. And uh, I am super dumb. No. So No, it's oh, okay. Well. It's okay, but, you guys. But, okay, last year we added the beloved... Llama Mob into the game. Do you want to see how we worked on that? Well, only if you think that you can roll tape on it. I can roll the tape. First, I was thinking llamas or alpacas. Oh, Agnes. Twitter has decided llamas it is. You know what to do. So I went on a journey to find some llamas to study. So llama spit. Let's get to researching. It's important to get every detail right. The dimensions, the color palettes, and to really study every angle. Some people think that here at Mojang we take our mob research way too seriously, but it's worth it. So, how are the llamas coming along? Oh, great. I'm actually coding them right now. And the trip was so fun. The llamas are so cute and friendly. But how was the parrot research trip? Parrots are... Wonderful. Please welcome Sax Persian of the Minecraft Studio.
Got to say, it's really nice to have an actual coder up on stage, somebody that's all about the ones and zeros, my man. Well, I'm actually the creative director. I'm a creative just like you. Wow, that's amazing. We have something in common. Yeah, creative and coding really go well together. Yeah. Yeah, many people don't realize it, but there's much more to making games than just coding. So as a creative director, I look into the future, and I see a vision of what Minecraft could be. And then with the help of developers, producers, artists, we try to realize that vision every time we release. Sounds pretty easy, right? That, yeah, that definitely sounds easy. So, Sax, if, if Will thinks it's so easy, can you tell him more? How could he make a game? Yeah, I think we have something that would work. For everyone who loves Minecraft and has always wanted to learn how to make their own games, code their own mods, we have a tutorial that's a great place to start. So we teamed up with the team at Hour of Code to release the newest challenge for the third year in a row to give people an easy, fun way to learn the basics of coding. Um, and so where they take it from there is totally up to them. Like, if this acting thing doesn't work out for you, Will, then you, know, you could learn to be a developer. What, what do you mean if it doesn't work out? Have you heard something? I, 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 think you're, I think you're fine. So, Sax, is there anything new in Hour of Code this year? Yeah, this year we wanted to up the ante and get even closer to how real development works. So we've added the ability to use functions. Wow, functions. That's got the word fun in it. Yeah, fun being the operative word. Yes. So functions. Um, every year we want to get closer and closer to being able to code the real Minecraft game. So also in the latest version, we added the ability to go to the nether, and we added a diamond path to make a more challenging experience for those who've tried coding in the past. That might not be you, Will. Gosh, Sax, I'm, I'm so sorry. You lost me four monotonous sentences ago. <laughs> well, well, maybe your kids can help you understand. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I don't understand the language yet. So we're secretly training tens of millions of people to be future game developers. Like, we can't be coding forever. And this year, we're especially excited that our friend Stacy Place will be guiding you through the tutorials. So let's take a peek. Stampy, Lizzie, Preston, thank you for coming with me. What I want to show you is just over this Mesa Plateau. I think you're going to love it. Wait a minute. There's a hole in the track! No! Ah! Is everyone okay? Ah, I see the problem. Look, there was a hole in the track. Really, Stampy? Maybe we should gather blocks to fix it. Let's make it a race. First one back to the top wins. Okay, on your mark, get set. Go! Okay, I'm just gonna gather some of this terracotta. Wait, guys, I can't mine. Same. I can't either. Okay, that is really strange. Stampy, can you mine? I can't mine. Okay, everyone stay calm. Is the game broken? If it is, how do we fix it? I don't know. Does anyone know how to write Minecraft code? <gasps> what is that? I've never seen one of these before. It's so adorable. Is it, is it tameable? Okay, what is going on? Someone needs to go back to the real world and fix this. Not it! Not it! Not it! Uh, okay, I'll go. Hi, Minecon. My name is Stacy Hinojosa, or Stacy Plays on YouTube. I have teamed up with Minecraft Education Edition to make some videos for this year's Hour of Code. To complete the Hour of Code challenge, you'll need to write code to program the agent. You'll work together with the agent to clear any obstacles in your path so you can pick up the items you'll need for your journey. Only the agent can place and break blocks, and only you can collect items. Good luck, happy coding, and happy Minecon. Wow, that's cool. I feel like I could, I could totally do that. I could really, really actually do that, I think. I, I, you know, I believe in you, Will. I, I'm actually really happy that you're feeling so confident right now. Remember that, that pool metaphor at the beginning that you didn't totally understand? Well, it's time to swim. All right, Lydia, let's go and get the last mob boats in. Perfect. So, Will, the next part of this is future updates of Minecraft. It's like, you know, the most important part of the show, but just you'll be great. Like, uh, you, you, you totally got this. I'll see you later. Great work. All right. Okay, so I <clears throat> guess I'm on my own out here. Finally. I can do whatever I want. What would I do? What would I do if I could do anything I want? Well, you know what? I've always wanted, 
I've always wanted to have my own talk show. Can I get like a, like a talk show desk out here? Is that possible? Can I get that? There we go. Oh yeah, you might want to get rid of some of this furniture. Oh yeah, I should probably get out of your way. No, there's a desk. Good. I like, I like just asking for stuff and it shows up. It's pretty awesome. Got the chair there, also the desk. All right, good. And the couch. Oh, oh, look at this. I got a, oh, you might have to unclip my, uh, my mic. There we go. And uh, like a real, look at, guys, I'm going to be like a late night talk show host. This is so great. Look at this. Right? Look at this. I got a jacket and a mug and a clipboard and um, pretty awesome. Got a, got a live studio audience. Broadcasting around the globe. I feel like there's one thing missing. Oh, I know. Perfect. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome my first guest, the one and only Jens Bergensten. Jens. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Great to have you on the show here, Jens. You know, since I first started doing this show, we always wanted to get you on as a guest. <laughs> it's been kind of a dream of mine. I am, uh, I gotta tell you, Jens, first of all, Jens Bergensen, I gotta say, I am a big fan. And what is it that you do? <laughs> uh, well, my, in my title is uh, Lead Creative Designer. Um, I'm a Lead Creative Designer? Yeah. That's so, pretty impressive. So, um, so I've been kind of a lead developer of Minecraft uh, for six years now, since the, since the first Minecon. Wow. So, so in that position, do you get to decide everything that happens? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 not really. Okay. I, of course, when it, when it comes to the Minecraft game design, I, I, my words matter. <laughs> yeah. But I'm, I'm a very Swedish person. I always look for consensus so that we have... You're always looking for the consensus <laughs> of the group. You don't want to just yeah, take yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely. And of course, we, we have a huge community that always have lots of great ideas and that influences us a, uh, us a lot. So, right. So it's a very interactive... Uh, th there's kind of like an ongoing dialogue, if you will. Yeah, definitely. And you really, it's important to really listen to, to those people in the community and, and the people you work with as well. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. You sound like a great leader. We could use some leadership. <laughs> I mean in the world, in Minecraft. I'm, this is, listen. Uh, uh, do you, how did you, how did you get involved, uh, Jens, with, with Minecraft? What's, what's your sort of, your origin story? Well, um, <clears throat> I got involved uh, uh, when, uh, when Marcus, uh, who created the game, Marcus, uh, who is known as Notch, yeah. uh, he, uh, he, uh, the, he had to quit his day job to, to work on Minecraft full time, and it's growing really fast. And he, he formed Mojang, you know, like to, to take care of Minecraft. Yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, like the, the idea we had was like Minecraft had peaked, you know, so he was looking for people to work on new games. Oh, so he brought you in not to work on Minecraft. No. He was like, Minecraft is already, is already set. We're, we're good with that. Please come and work on some new games. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then what happened? Uh, it, well, that didn't happen, more or less. You, you, did, you, just, you just worked on Minecraft. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, there, there was so much to do on Minecraft, so I started helping out with that. And uh, just uh, like when I started working at Mojang, it had sold uh, 700,000 copies. Yeah. Just, just a few, few months later, it was 1 million, and a year later, it was 2. So like, it, it was just taking off. That's uh, yeah, yeah and it's just been like a global phenomenon. And obviously, the fans around the world and the fans here are super excited. and. and <laughs> It is, it is such a great, it's such a great community and you guys do obviously do such a great job of taking care of that community. And I, I know from my own experience, my kids uh, are playing or they're watching YouTubers uh, you know, around Minecraft all the time. Um, I'm one of those dads who's like, turn it down! Um, but it is fun to see them get super excited about and you know, I, I wanted to... Uh, They've always got so many questions. I know a lot of you guys out there have questions that you would love to ask Jens, but it's my turn. And, uh, <laughs> and, but I always think about like, what are those things? Like, what are the possibilities? Because it does seem like 
Minecraft has no limits. It, it's almost like you could do anything. And so I know that for my own kids, it's always like, what could you build? Is there like a, could you build like a, you know, what, what would be some new update that would be crazy? Could you get like, like, a, like a flower that, that shoots out of a rocket that you can, you know, whatever. What are the limitations? No, you're right. Like, uh, like almost anything goes. Uh, and uh, like, we always want to update and add new stuff to Minecraft. Mm -hmm. uh, we have kind of settled on like the, like the core Minecraft that we call the vanilla Minecraft. That's like a fancy adventure game. So we t kind of try to stay to that theme, uh, but there are like mods and add-ons and everything that moves beyond that. Um, but uh, every day, not like every year, we want to like improve the, the vanilla gameplay as well. Yeah. Um, so, 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 so does it, it seems to me? Do you guys spend a lot of your time thinking about like talk about trying to think outside the block? <laughs> guys, it's my show. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're on my time. This is a great mug. <laughs> right? Ten ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, not water. So, uh, yeah, uh, uh, do you guys spend a lot of your time thinking, like, trying to figure out new ways to outsmart yourselves? Like, what is, what are those kind of uh, those sessions like, where you're spitballing what the new updates are going to be? Um, yeah, like it, it's it's kind of funny because after every up, like big update we've done, I'm, I'm kind of like. What should I do now? <laughs> yeah, like, right, right. <laughs> what's next? Because you've been focused on one one. And update. people are people want more. Too. Yeah, yeah, of, yeah. Of course. So sometimes I get inspiration from f things that I see, like movies, yeah, and uh, and other video games, or even just walking around in the street. Yeah. Uh, but uh, many times I just sit down and have like a really intense Minecraft session and and try to feel out what areas can we uh, expand upon uh, yeah. uh, next. Um, and it's, uh, it's kind of funny, like the, one of the updates we did this year, the World of Colors, was actually inspired because I just saw this, this beautiful um, like terracotta floor, like uh, uh, Moroccan tiling. Yeah. And, and I was just looking at the tiles and I saw like, hey, wait a second, it's just one tile that they rotated around and it created these really, really nice um, patterns. And I thought, hey, we can do that in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so that created, like, we, we now have these really colorful blocks. And then we like, oh, we can build a whole theme around this. You, yeah. it's crea you, you've created an entire generation of people who are, spend most of the day going, hey, you could do that in Minecraft. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a global definitely. army of, but it's great. It's so inspirational. And, and, and so I know that you've got a lot of really exciting new updates uh, yes. that, that you might want to be able to talk about a little bit. Yeah. Walk us through some of these exciting updates that are coming. So now, now when we have, like, we have the Java edition and we have the, 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 like the Bedrock editions, uh, like all caught up. So ne next year, we're going to release the, the update on all platforms at the same time. More or less, not maybe on the same day, but more or less at the same time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the, the next update, uh, that's going to be the update Aquatic. Update Aquatic. Wow. So, so tell us a little bit about some of the... Uh, <laughs> what do we got here? Wow, that's so cool. So what is this? Uh, you want to talk a little bit about these? Uh, we'll wait until the after the clip. Sure. Wow. 
That looks so, that looks so cool. And, and judging by the, uh, the fan reaction, uh, people are going to be super excited about this. Why don't yeah. you walk us through this update a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Red. Yeah, absolutely. So we were talking backstage uh, about the bubble columns. Like, there were a lot of questions about them. What, what, what do they actually do? And, and a lot of these uh, changes we're doing are, are of course, just we'd, we're prototyping. Uh, like, textures and uh, graphics and can change, and all, even behaviors may change when we got, start snapshotting and uh, testing things out with the community. But one thing is that many of these uh, will affect the way water works in, in Minecraft. And um, one thing is that items will now start floating on the surface, and the, a bubble column which is created by these uh, mag magma blocks, uh, they're going like, to break the buoyancy of, of water, so everything will fall down into them. Ah. So if you're, if you're, there will be like, uh, ravines on the water with these magma blocks. Uh, yeah. So we, when you're riding a boat, suddenly the boat might start shaking. You have to like get back to a solid surface again, uh, or you will f fall down into the into the ocean. Um, but mainly, we're interested to see how this can be used in various contraptions. Yeah. Yeah, that's so cool. And uh, and then uh, we have uh, we are adding a new weapon called the trident. Um, the trident. Yeah. I love that. So it's a, it's, a, it's a weapon you can do both in melee and you can, and you can throw it. Yep. But uh, as you saw in the clip, like, it, it, like, if you throw it, you, you lost your weapon. You lost right? the weapon. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah that's so you're weaponless. So it doesn't, it, yeah, throwing the weapon doesn't seem like a good idea. No, definitely not. So there's a, there's a special enchantment for, for tridents called loyalty that makes it come back. Like nice. Hammer. Loyalty. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, I'd like to get that. And there's also a bunch of other in, in enchantments for it. Like one is uh, it's currently called Riptide, that when you're swimming and you throw the trident, it's like a dashing. So you get like a, a push forward. Oh, like a little push forward. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's, it's kind of fun because you can, if, you, if you're in the su at the surface and you throw it up, you, can, you jump like a dolphin. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, and one, one uh, fun thing that, um, that Dinabone suggested was that it only works in water, but we made it now also work when it's raining. So ah. it's like, like, have you ever like, yes, it's raining in Minecraft? It, <laughs> no, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> but now you're like, yes, it's raining. You take on your Elytra and you throw the trident and you just swoop away. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it's really nice. That sounds fun. Yes, and then we have the coral and the kelp, uh, and we have the, like, the actual fish. Um, and this is uh, like to add more variety into the oceans and then more things to see. Um, and also, like in the, in the video clip, you saw a coral and a coral and kelp right next to each other, but they're going to be separated because we're going to have ocean uh, biomes, so warm and cold oceans with different uh, type of terrain. Oh, wow. Uh, and all the fish that you currently fish as items, uh, they will exist as proper fish. So we have like a salmon and tropical fish and uh, clownfish and um, puffer fish, for, uh, and etc. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot some. Good. Uh, that was good knowledge. <laughs> yes. And uh, they, uh, um, for Minecraft players, this will work similar to bats. They will come and go. But if you catch one with a bucket, you will get a bucket with water and fish in it. And you can put this out. And this is going to be like a persistent fish. So you can use it to, uh, uh, to build aquariums in your houses. And you will keep your fish. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah. Don't forget to feed them. Yeah. And then I, I mentioned changes to the water physics. And primarily what we want to do is to be able to build with uh, uh, slabs and stairs and, um, and fences underwater without getting in these weird air pockets. Like that's, that's the objective we're trying to solve. But then it also kind of makes sense that you have like, more proper water movement through these blocks. Uh, and we are aware that this call will come with a lot of like, new behaviors, so it's, we're going to try things out and uh, see how it works. But like, the main goal is to make it easier to build uh, underwater. So, yeah, right, so it's going to be, yeah, that's so cool. And it'll kind of evolve over time as, as, yeah. as you use it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Uh, and then we have like, more uh, underwater terrain uh, with the shipwrecks and um, uh, icebergs. 
So it's going to be more variation in the, in the ocean terrains, uh, things to find. And uh, iceberg. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. And uh, uh, there will be more uh, different treasures to find, uh, which brings me to dolphins. Um, dolphins. Yeah. I mean, how excited, how excited is everybody for the dolphins? Yeah. <laughs> That's so awesome. So, well, like in every update, we try to introduce well, like one new animal mob. Um, and uh, this, uh, the dolphins will actually help you uh, in the oceans to find treasure. They will help you guide, uh, guide players. Oh, really? Oh, they're yeah, friendly. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, uh, and this is just uh, like a sneak peek of things coming. Uh, yeah. we, are, we have way more features related to the Update Aquatic. Yeah. Um, so you will so see more out. announcements. Yeah, more announcements coming out, yeah. coming out sometime in the next year. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's so cool. I love, I love the, the dolphins are, are great. It's, it's nice to have a sense of porpoise. <laughs> um, well, uh, Jens, this has been a fascinating interview, uh, but, um, but I want the results of the first ever Minecraft mob vote. Yeah. How, how would I be able to do that, do you think? Oh, wait, you know what? I got it. This, this worked before. Check this out. There it is, yep. I knew it. Hey. Boo booey, everyone. Hello. There he is with the results. You know, this really is the best talk show, oh, Will. Thank you so much. Thank you. I have right here the hard earned vote for the next mob that goes into Minecraft. Jens, will you uh, do the honors? Yes, please. Oh, please don't, please don't be La La Land again. <laughs> please do not be La La Land. Uh, and the winner is... Moppy. That is so great, and that, of course, that was my favorite. That was my favorite mob from the very beginning. My votes probably pushed it over the edge. That was the <laughs> one I. Yeah, well, actually, uh, it was a fairly close race, so I think your vote might have been, uh, you know, pretty important there. Yeah, good. Well, every vote counts, you know. Yes, it does. Well, uh, you well, know, um, I... are you um, are you excited about the mob that was chosen, Jens? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm very excited. I... Uh, <laughs> you don't sound as excited. No, 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 no. Okay. It, now, 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 like uh, these, uh, these mobs were uh, like they don't have a name yet, and uh, the feature set is still like you know in flux. So now, now it's uh, it's going to be a, a challenge to f to live up to people's uh, kind of fantasies about what is the monster of the night skies. And That's it's gonna, interesting. It's going to be it's going to yeah. be fun. A fun. Yeah. Oh, so and then and when can we expect the the new mob in in the game? It will be in the update aquatic. Wow, awesome, yes. awesome, coming up soon. So so not too so, not too long of a wait. Not yep. too long. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, Will. It looks like you're doing really well out here. This is an amazing show. So uh, actually, I'm gonna go find the key to the handcuffs. And uh, Jens, will you go with me and let Will just take over? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My guests again. Um, and uh, now I'll just do. Um, uh, I really didn't have anything planned. Boy, this is really poorly planned out by me. Um, so I guess I can just do anything I want. Is that uh, anything I want? I guess I would. Hey, Will. I'm back. Yeah. Do you feel that you've learned a lot about Minecraft today? Yeah, I do actually. Mainly, uh, I feel like mainly how much I don't know about Minecraft. Yeah, I mean, I've learned how cool having so many Minecons can be. Just yeah. Minecon around the world for everyone. Yes, Minecon around the world for everyone. <sighs> so. So. That song and dance routine we talked about. You got a spring in your step. You got. 
got a gleam in your eye. You're full of vigor and pep. <clears throat> and now I know why. It's because we know about the new bubble calms, which will make the water unstable. They'll rock your boat. And so I'm cool. So cool. The sky is cool. This day began in despair. I feared for more of the same. But now we're walking on air. Wait, why is that? Because I'm getting the game. Don't forget who helps you. Which has a new feature called Trident with loyalty and enchantment where the Trident is really a boomerang. It will always come back. You see, I'm cool. So cool. This guy is cool. Like you could find yourself in a realms multiplayer match where I will absolutely destroy you. Glad you got that out of your system. Can we bring the song home now? Yes, yeah, sure. A five, six, seven, eight. So now the ending is here. Took us some time, but so what? <laughs> you all just wait till next year. Where I'll be back to kick butt. I'm no longer a fool. Well, hello, welcome back to Mike Us. This is the post show, so finally, finally, we can actually talk in some detail about everything that's just happened. I'm joined by Aurelian, how are you doing? Hi, I'm really good now. But, okay, where on earth, this, there was a whole song and dance number with like a bajillion singers and yeah, like dancers. Yeah, they like, came what? out of nowhere. Like, what? they just appeared out Magic. of nowhere. Yeah, I know. it was amazing. And the whole time they kept joking about this, yeah. like song and dance number. Yeah. And they said there's a song and dance number and I didn't expect it to be like a Broadway style, like top hats and the like people and then fireworks in the background. I feel like Minecon has escalated somewhat. Every year. Are we going to be doing a full musical number next year? Are we all yeah. going to be expected to dance because 
I need to learn how to walk <laughs> with two feet before I can yeah. dance on a stage. That's not good. Shout out to Lydia, honestly. I, yeah. I don't know if I could I didn't know she stage. was singing. Yes. Every year she blows me away with something else. It's like, wow, Lydia's an amazing host. And this time she came out as like singing and in a dress and heels. I feel like it's, it's like turned into like Lydia talent showcase. She set it's, the bar. Come on, I mean, come on, Lydia. Like, we're, I'm good. I'm roughly good at one thing. <laughs> you can't be good at everything. That's just not no, fair for the rest of fair. us, right? No, no it's not. Um, what did you think of the show, though? Because obviously, I mean, it feels like the time has just gone by super fast. Yeah. There's so much crammed into that show. Yeah, and and I feel like there was something every time where I was like, oh, okay, well, that feels like that's enough for Minecon, and then they would come out with another set, and it would be like, oh, there's more. It's like that, That, but wait, there's more, and it just kept happening over and over and over again. Mojang do, love, like, first of all, they really love surprises. Yeah. Uh, second of all, they like to uh, make you think you know uh, what all the surprises are, and then hit you with some other surprises. They do. It's like, it's like the craziest Christmas yeah. ever. Yeah, like and even with, with, like, the mob voting, yeah. like, choosing which mobs you wanted, you we knew which mobs there were, but it, it, every time it was like, oh, but which one's eliminated now, and there was all that hype yeah. and excitement about which one was going to get chosen. So. Well, let's bring in, you're fresh, fresh, I'm fresh from, from the stage. stage. Okay, how, you have confetti? No, I, you're good, no. you're good. How, how are your hands? Because that was pretty intense. Oh, they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty, they're pretty good. good. How did that you find so that? That was so exciting. You won. Yes, I won. Congratulations I won. on your win. I won the build battle. We were, worried, yes. we were worried that you'd like peak too early. Exactly. Um, everyone's here. Um, how did you find being on the stage? How was it? Was it scary? Terrifying at first. Yeah. But once I got out there, it was like, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> Was it kind of a bit fun? I'm a bit of a Will Arnett fan. Was it fun standing in his vicinity? Yes. yes. Oh, yes. Yes. I got to shake his hand Did after you? the building was blitz. It, yes. Was it a firm handshake? It was a great hand. I think he conditions his hand or something. Ooh. It's very we good. Got some, we got softest oh, yes. Will Arnett. Behind oh, the scenes yeah. gossip. I will never what was wash Will this like? hand again. Yeah. It was yeah, great. That was cool. But I mean, it was it was really, really fun. He, he so got into it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. That he was, was really just fun to watch and be around and you know, he was on stage most of the time, so he wasn't backstage much, but whenever he was, it was like, all eyes on him. It was fun. It's, uh, yeah, it's really cool. I think uh, it, we were just saying just before you got here that ending on a huge dance number, I really feel like Minecon is escalating <laughs> a little bit each year. Soon it's going to be like a full on music. They're going to expect you to tap dance. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. I guess I have to take lessons. I think we all need yeah. Yeah. some singing yeah, lessons. Basically, yeah. yeah. I think I the next Minecon will be Minecon the musical, yeah. Okay. On ice will be really when you know. Don't make it harder than on you, ice. We're all going to break things. <laughs> Why would you suggest that? You just put that in there. That'll be the real though. jumping you know, actually, shark moment. Next year, because they, uh, they announced the entire aquatic. Stuff, yes. Right. All oh, the yeah. dolphins oh, yeah, and the yeah. coral. When next year is just going to be everyone in scuba suits underwater, yeah. just swimming. You know they have those, like, under those mermaid ice. shows. Yeah, like the mermaid shows. Yeah. yeah. You know they have like those hotels in Dubai that are underwater. Maybe yeah. they'll be there. Okay. Yes. I could be down. For you that. know, I'm down. Yeah, yeah I I'm fully support that. this. So I have to get passports. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what did you think about which mob was chosen? I sort of suspected it might be that one. I don't want to say like I knew, but I knew. I was rooting for C. I was rooting for C as well. Um, it looked like a lot of people, there was, and, you know, of course, we're getting the vibe of people d uh, backstage, and a lot of people backstage wanted B to win. I, yeah. It did seem mm -hmm. like there was a majority yeah. backstage. You know, you know what? I was thinking about this with all of the, all of the different ones. Um, I think it's because it had, like, a really good backstory. It, like, yeah. you, you, you could suddenly imagine the situations and how it was going to kind of play out more right. than the yeah. others. Like, because obviously if something's in the ocean, like, yeah, but then I'm not really in the ocean right. a lot. Or, like, and, and personally, I don't really like going to the nether. I, it I totally I agree with that because, like, it upsets me. Yeah. my favorite was Mob C, which yeah. was the big yeah. open mouth, yeah. and he would do enchanting yeah. stuff, but yeah. they said he was rare. He yeah. camouflages. Yeah. He, the, you know, and then he uses this thing. And that just sounds like a lot of work. I'll be honest. So yeah. It's a lot of work, but you know, being uh, in a situation where you haven't slept in days, you come out from caving, and then all of a sudden there's these things attacking, and it's it, rare. It's like that's cool. I do feel a little bit like uh, now that we've voted for this, there's going to be points. Obviously, when you guys are making content, where you're going to come out after a really <laughs> you just why did you guys why did you vote for this? Yes. I said C the whole time. Right? Yeah. this is not. And now I can't be held accountable. I voted for C, yeah. so you guys who voted B, you know it's your fault. <laughs> I was kind of hoping at the end they would pull like the nice guy card and they would be like, well. We'll give you, well, it was close. We'll give yeah. you both B and C. And that I was like, been nice, I was, yeah. I was holding out because the whole time it was like thirty six percent and thirty five percent, and then the other ones B and C were pretty neck and neck the whole time. So I was hoping, mm -hmm. I was holding out for that last minute, like. 
We'll just give you both. But you can't change the rules, because then everyone would freak out if it was like, oh, but yeah. actually, so you've got to stick to, yeah. yeah. Listen, they can minutes. do whatever they want. You know what? It's really dolphins. Do they it for do charity, <laughs> you know, say, okay, if we get this much to charity, then, yeah. uh, you Oh, know, hi. Yeah. We've got a lot of um, I have to say, one of the most exciting things uh, about the whole thing, for me personally, was uh, Adventure Time. I yeah, know. that was cool. I I, think agree. I like Adventure Time a little bit too much, and now that it's like this, that's going to be yeah. so good. Yeah, there's always been a mashup pack, um, but it's not the same. Like, yeah, not to that. It's not the same that there's an actual cartoon episode that's going to have Minecraft as the theme. I can't wait. And Adventure Time is so good with the story. I, yeah. I really, I so, I can't wait to find out, like, how did they incorporate Minecraft? Because like yeah. they did like the gender bent episodes, and they did a really funny job of like incorporating that into the story yeah. of Adventure Time, yeah. the universe of Adventure Time. So I'm really excited for that. It was also really, I always find it really fascinating when you see voice actors and what they actually. Yeah, like, I know. They're both quite young. I don't know why. Yeah. I always assumed voice actors were sort of older. Yeah. I assume Finn was played by a female, like like who like, like, like did Bart a voice Simpsons. voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ah, and then yeah, of course, Will on obviously voice of. But I mean, I don't yeah, think man. he crowbarred that. Yeah, in and too Bojack much. Horseman. You know. <laughs> oh yeah, Bojack Horseman. Yeah. 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 Also, Arrested Development. Yeah. yeah. I've got a banana in my bag, so if I bump into him backstage <laughs> later, I'll be like, do you want it for? I won't do that. <laughs> well, Please do. Maybe. Maybe if one of you secretly films me. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll watch out. <laughs> um, yeah. So what else was kind of high points for you guys? Yeah, I wonder, like, what's your favorite moment? Favorite moment, I would say, was doing a lot better in the build battle than I thought I was going to do. <laughs> oh, I mean, pre that's pressure. It was a lot of pressure. Will, Will's, like, breathing down your neck, you know, yeah. the stakes are high. Was he course. invading your personal space? Do we have to have a word? He wasn't literally. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, you know what, it's cool, it's Batman. Yeah, yeah, it's Batman. It was Batman. Batman. It was, I wants. mean, it was awesome. It was really cool to have, have the voice of Batman just talking to you, giving some inspiration. He did. Better to get those the voice message. I know. Yeah, so I'm just saying yeah, to cry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tweet him. I'm gonna oh, hold yes. him to that. I think because yeah. I jumped right over there and I was like, yeah, I'm doing it. Let's go. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. and also you can't make, you can't pretend to like, you know, do someone's, and not it's do that. It's on the that. internet that's now, awful. he has to. That's, a, that's yeah. a legally binding exactly. contract. <laughs> <You say something. laughs> that's a joke on the internet. Yeah. Legally, yes. we can come for you. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And I, I have to say as well, uh, the, the cosplay, the cosplay really costumes. Cute. Oh, that was, that was awesome. amazing. The winner was so adorable. Oh, and his dad, he was like a little, like Dustin from Stranger Things. I was like, oh my God, his <laughs> little curly hair. I was just, see, we gotta, we gotta hang out with him. Yeah, yeah backstage. And stuff, yeah. Backstage and stuff. And this kid is so adorable. Yeah. He was sitting there playing on his tablet. He has an app that makes snow cones. And he was sitting there making me snow cones, pink and purple ones, and telling me eat them. And I have to like touch the screen and stuff. I mean, he was just like trying to like joke around and play with all of us, and it just made it so much fun yesterday. I mean, I have to say, like being like being on a big stage. I mean, you know, you guys as adults, mm -hmm. it's still quite intimidating. But as a kid going up there, that's quite. Oh my god! Like, you'd never hear the end of it. If they were all natural it. too. All of yeah. the kids that came up as part of the the cosplay contest, all of them were like super natural, mm -hmm. like on stage. It would maybe envious because I remember like getting into content creation, mm -hmm. and your first videos were terrible because you of were course. like didn't know what to say, and then what am I doing? this yeah. new generation came in, and they're like, "Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here and perfectly I've comfortable. Been doing this. Yeah, <laughs> I've been doing this since I was six, and you're like, ah, okay, I'm 31. Um, yeah, if, you, if you guys were to uh, cosplay, what would you like?" Minecraft characters. What oh would you do? no, that's would you? a hard question. I would do the pig. Yeah. I would do. Yeah. I would do Reuben in honor of yeah. Reuben. Yeah. Oh Reuben. Oh, oh wait, no, I don't want to spoil it. Yeah. Reuben's a great. You're, you're, you're past great. the window of exclusivity. Is he? It's been out long enough. Okay. That I think all right. Yeah. Reuben. Oh, I like Reuben. You can't though. call it Reuben as well and not expect that to play on people. It's <laughs> <laughs> a type of sandwich. Right? In America, yeah, exactly. a Reuben. Exactly. Yes, it is. Very popular. Um, what would you cosplay as? Um, a sheep or a bat. Those were like my favorite ones in the game. <gasps> yeah. I think I'd go for the rare thing and be like a polar bear that you don't see <gasps> oh, those often. Are cute. You know, so. yeah. you want to be like exclusive. Right. Cosplay. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't really like rare. regular cosplay. I mean, yeah. basic cosplay. <laughs> yeah. Have you found me in the ice spikes recently? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> You're rare. <laughs> yeah. I would You're do. So rich. I would do some kind of like uh, enchanted armor, but where it was like instead of just looking like it, it actually when you turned had like a holographic. Oh, oh that my would be gosh. Cool. If any 
anyone Did, out there takes my idea that. for next year, I'm coming for you. Just so you know, I'm claiming it right Still now. Be okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were in the audience, and my eight year old was like, Can we do this next year? Can we do it next year? And I was like, Okay. And she was like, All right. And she was already like on her iPad planning out what like cosplay <laughs> she wanted to do next year. So I guess that's what we're doing oh. now. So. Well, I think on that note, we're, it's about time to kind of wrap everything up. I'm um, still going to get the confetti out of my hair. Yeah? Are you like, <laughs> do, do you need a brush? I can sort you out. Um, well, like, all that remains to say is thank you so, so much for sticking with us. From the pre to the post show, it's been an absolute pleasure to be here. Thank you so much to all of our you. content creators and our team here as well Woo! for making the oh, live stream happen. Oh, um, we will see you again next year, I'm sure, more, more from Minecon. We'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.